Okay. All right, hopefully that's better. <laughs> it was a little loud. It's okay, yeah, we don't know you. I don't know why they always make the thing so loud at the beginning. I feel like I have not gotten to a, I've not played a game where the the intro screen is always, is it's always loud every single time and I hate it. Um, how do I make this full screen? Um, hmm. I'm hoping that they'll have a tutorial because I don't play games like this. Here, let's see. Let me do, let me do this instead. Maybe this would look better. Okay, kind of. Um, really? A Norway kid start kindergarten at one or two? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got 40 hours in it so far. Okay, so if I need help, you'll help me. Epic early morning music, for real. So it does have full screen? How do you make it full screen? This is the only thing I can see. Maybe I have to, like, get in the game first. Um. Also, ooh. Oh, yeah, you're right. Control F. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm hoping they'll teach me all this stuff. But if not, it's there. All right. Well, let's see. Oh, my category. I don't know if it changed. Brighter Shores. Done. Okay. All right. Let's play. It does have a tutorial? Okay, good. Um, rules. I've read them. It's all good. <laughs> Don't be a horrible person. Got it. Ooh, design my character. Okay. Oh, all right. So, oh, okay. Let's do hair first. Let's get like a nice brown hair. My face. See any options for face? We'll do blue eyes, but not like creepy blue eyes. What is this? Jaw? Oh, wait. I think. Oh, here we go. Here's face. I thought it was like the. <laughs> okay. Oh, Harry Potter. Um. I like this one. She looks kind of sad though. It does, it, or it, it's also a checkbox in the bottom left under layout op, layout settings. Oh, and I just didn't see that, I guess. Ooh, okay, Lulu. Ooh, we're going on a walk. <laughs> I'm gonna do this one. Jaw. Oh, I can make them smile. I think we'll just do this one. That looks nice. Um, hmm, what do I want to wear? Oh my gosh, it looks like a pilgrim outfit. <laughs> hmm. I kind of like this. Let's see, what kind of legs do we have? Is that a skirt with leggings? Um, this looks nice, but let's change like the color to like, yeah, like the blue. Wait, is there different hairstyles? Oh, a hijab, oh cool, there are. Oh look, I like how you can see, it's like a mirror. So you can see what it looks like in the back. Ooh, I like that one. How 
Okay. Wait, that one's kind of cool. That one's cute. Ooh, this one's cute too. Okay, I'm gonna do... I think I'm gonna do this one, maybe. All right, legs, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know how I feel about this stuff. Ooh. I'm not a fan of any of these clothes. Well, I guess that one's kind of, kind of, this kind of works. Should we get like brown? Light brown? No, let's do dark brown. Okay, that's somewhat okay. Feet? Oh goodness, is that like dirty feet? Like clean feet and dirty feet? Or maybe those are sandals. I can't tell. <laughs> I like the ballet flats. I'm gonna stick with the ballet flats. Yeah, those are cute. I like it. Um, and I'm pale, so. Okay. All right, looks good. <laughs> so many options, whoa. Hi, Jai, good morning. Man, they're really competing with um, Monster Hunter Wilds, aren't they? Looking like a nun. <laughs> Mohawk or bus. <laughs> mm. Um, is that the is that who made um RuneScape, Andrew? Is that the same guy? I forgot his name. This game definitely has a lot more options than classic. Uh oh R R R S is RuneScape, right? Yeah, I mean I ain't gonna this is still really good. Okay, finished. Miss Kylie. Perfect! Names without a suffix are reserved for premium pass members. Oh, okay. Keep in mind this is free to play, so they're gonna they're gonna throw stuff out there like that, and that's fine. Welcome to Brighter Shores. Click on the things in this room, interact with them. Okay. Captain Jaw de Green. Aha! You must be the new recruit. Yes, I'm Miss Kylie. I've joined the town guard today, and I'm told to report to you. Miss Kylie, eh? Welcome to the Holtport Garrison. Thank you. I'm eager to learn how to be an effective guard. Is that so? Well, here's your first lesson. Address your senior officers as ma'am or sir. You'll be given a hard time in training if you forget that. Um, yes, or ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. Don't overdo it. No one likes a toady. What's a toady? So tell me, why do you want to be a town guard? Um, let's see. Um, I don't know how I ended up here. <laughs> Let me tell you, you stumbled into a marvelous job. Luckily for you, we have some excellent career opportunities since we lost a squad in the mine of Matubin. Oh boy, that doesn't sound good. I definitely did not use sir, ma'am. Oh, you didn't? <laughs> <laughs> the contract on competing with RuneScape ended, so he made an own, his own game. Cool. I love it. Love that for him, too. Training ground. Now, head to the courtyard through that door and speak to Corporal Benz to start your training. Wait, yeah, wait. You lost a whole squad. Should I be worried? <laughs> hmm? Oh, we sent a squad into the mines to see why the local goblins were getting so aggressive. We've not seen them since. You should concern yourself with other things, like reporting to Corporal Benz. What do you mean? My life is on the line. Open main story quest by clicking here. Okay. This area shows your progress in the quest, along with a reminder of, how, of any instructions clues you have received. This is the first place you should check if you are unsure what you should be doing next. Okay. Okay. Rotate the view by dragging. Oh, okay. You can walk around by clicking on the ground tile. Click on an empty ground tile outside the door to so walk to the training ground. Oh, okay. Got it. Simple, simple. Yeah. Gotta walk to... Ooh. Why is it still so loud? <laughs> You can also rotate by using WSAD. Oh, yeah, you're right. Look at Kitty. Oh, you can pet the cat. 
Oh, that's sweet. What the heck? Oh, you can pet the animals. Or at least the cat. Hello, minister. I'm told you'll be training me. Or mister. Mister, what do you mean, mister? You're in the you're in the town guard now. You'll treat your superiors re with respect. What? Oh. Sir. I mean, sir. So, Captain DeGreen is scraping the bottom of the barrel for recruits. Okay, well, head to the quartermaster in this building here and collect your standard issued gear. Then you need to learn some guards magic. Guards magic? Talk to Anjay to the west. He's Hopeport's magic supervisor. Tell him you need guard a guards access to use magic. Once you've done all that, report back to me. I'll get right on it, sir. There you go, sir. Okay, quartermaster, I need gear, please. Hello, mate. What can I do for you? Um. <laughs> what? Do we need four of you to make a whole master? <laughs> Wait, what? That's funny. No, mate, quartermaster is an officer in charge of supplies. <laughs> Way to kill the joke. Wait, that's funny. I've been sent to fetch my gourd's equipment. Okay, the sword is standard issue for new recruits. Please look after it. Why is it so loud? Stop. You should talk to Andre to get your magic access. I will. How do I open up the... Oh, hold on. Gain a backpack item, the area displays which items you currently have in your backpack. Got it. I want audio. I guess I'll turn everything like really down. Why is it so loud? There. Is it just me or is it, does it sound fine to you guys? I feel like some parts it was like really loud. Okay, so Anje, wait, what's this? Open. Oh, Quartermaster Bank. Oh, okay. Wait, so I have this stuff in my inventory equipped. There we go. Open the weapons panel by clicking here. You can equip up to three weapons, which will appear here when in combat. Only weapons you equip beforehand will be available for use. Once combat starts, you can no longer change which weapons you have equipped. Okay, so we gotta be picky. Is a tad loud? Well, I turned it down, so hopefully it's good now. Um, where is Anje? Uh, looks like in here, maybe? Oh, Barax? Um, no, not quite. Um. <clears throat> oh, here, him. <laughs> the movement is so interesting. I feel like I haven't had this type of movement in a while. Like I feel like it's very Sims-esque. Or maybe it's just room fa a room room factory. Oh my god, I'm gonna keep saying that. Roomscape. I haven't played that game in a long time. I sense that you wish to talk to me. Um is, it, is that because I, I opened my mouth in order to talk? Oh my god, so sassy. You sense wrong. I'm speaking to you by accident. <laughs> what is? What do these options do? Does it change, like, your personality or something? It's kind of funny. I've been told to ask for guards magic access. I sense that you've been told to ask for guards magic access. What? Yeah, very clever. Okay, I'm going to check your magical signature. Not really, it's just for fun. Oh, I like it. I like it. Wow, your aura is unusual. Unusual? How is it unusual? Hard to explain. However, your request is fulfilled. You are free to do magic in Hopeport. That's all well and good, but I don't know any magic. We have a guy who teaches some useful spells for new recruits, and I suspect you have the aptitude to learn. Look for Sultar Mal Malzak. He can be a little full of himself, but he knows his stuff. Okay, open the spells panel. You have unlocked magic. As you learn spells, they will be added to your spell book here. 
Okay. Where is this guy that's supposed to teach me? Oh, here. Here he is. Many greetings to you. I'm Sultara Malzak, the imminent mage of the Holtport Guard. They told me you were full of yourself. <laughs> Who told you that? Andre Sanderman, I bet. Don't you pay any attention to him. He's just jealous of my magnificence. <laughs> I'd like to see a demonstration. <laughs> Sultar produces one silver from behind your ear, which he hands to you. Oh, shoot. Heck yeah. <laughs> wow, thanks, mister. <laughs> Wait, this game is funny! At your service! I can tell that you can teach me some magic. Um, I can, but first of all, I want to test your aptitude. Alright, what do you need me to do? Visit the portal stone to the northwest and reach for the magic within. Okay, so I gotta go over there. Come back to me when you're done, when you've done that. Okay. Oh wait, what's this? Open the tool belt panel by clicking here. You've gained some money. The area displays how much money you currently have. Oh, okay. Wow, one whole silver. <laughs> okay, so I'm supposed to activate. Activate portal stone. Teleport. I learned how to teleport. Okay, let's go back now. Wait, that's where it, okay. So that's where it, okay. Cool. <laughs> the dialogue has me cackling. I think it's really funny. I want to. I want to choose as many sarcastic remarks as possible. Talk to Sultar Malzak at your service. Um, can wait. If I ask him to show me the magic again, will he give me more money? Oh, you've already had a demonstration. Darn it! <laughs> no. I visited the portal stone like you asked. Excellent. Try out the new spell you've learned. Oh, okay. Teleport. Alright. Now I'm back here. Okay. I wish he would, like, come over here. <laughs> I have to keep walking to him. Hi, <laughs> Infamous! Use Wingardium Leviosa. That would be perfect. No. Uh, he's too great to do that. I guess so. Um... I feel like I'm going round in circles. Sorry, but magic is serious business. You need to master one spell at a time. Is there any more magic you can teach me? <clears throat> yes, I shall teach you the sense spell. Okay. Hey you, Miss Kylie, come here. I have a task for you. Click on the sense spell to show everything nearby which you can interact with. A single click will only sense important things, or a double click will sense everything. Cool. Nice. Alright, let's talk to this guy. I am having a good day. We just started the day though. <clears throat> but so far, so good. Goblin attack. Uh oh. Squad four, move out. Uh oh. They're doomed, aren't they? Look, lively recruit. Mob of goblins have breached the walls. We need all hands to help defend the town. Fetch the other recruits. Jermaine, Delena, and Tall Blaine. And meet up meet me here at the garrison gate. No problem, Benzie. Recruit, address me as Sir, not Benzie. Do I make myself clear? Now, hurry up and fetch those others. Okay, who? This guy? No, this is Andre. Who are the people? Oh, here we go, here's one. Delana. Isn't it great to be a guard? Everyone will respect us in our natty, u in our natty uniforms. Not everyone, the criminals won't like us. I joined for the adventure, not the fashion. I'm sure it won't be long until we see some action. Not everyone, the criminals won't like us. Well, no, not the criminals, but I don't care about law-breaking 
gum thing. Um, goblins are invading. Head to the barracks. Oh dear, I'm expected to fight, but I've, but I've mislaid my bow. I'll help you find it. Thank you. Where did you see it last? The Brax, I had it before I took a little nap earlier. I can't remember seeing it since. Maybe Jermay took it while I slept? That guy doesn't like me. Um, this is the Brax, right? Yeah. Oh, here's the guys. The other two. You look flustered, everything all right? Did you pick up Delana's bow? Are you calling me a thief? The nerve, well, I'll box your ears. No, no, I'm not accusing you of anything. Just looking for a bow. Well, I ain't got it. If she lost it, it's her fault for leaving it somewhere stupid. Goblins are invading. Yes, time to fight something at last. Sue there. Sounds like a butthole. Woke up 40 minutes ago. Had to go get some new shoes for work, but I forgot my wallet, so I had to come home. No! Oh no! What kind of shoes are you getting? I'm sorry. That's the worst, having to come back. I think I made a mistake becoming a guard. Why do you think you made a mistake? Er, guards get into conflicts and conflicts are scary. In that case, I'm surprised you even applied. Problem is, I have so much innate magic that most towns won't let me in unless I'm harnessing my powers in a respectful career. <laughs> what? I'm not interested in your problems. Not many people are. Too wrapped in their own problems. Oh, that's sad. Okay. Um, goblins are invading. Goblins? Er, they sound kind of scary. I think I'll stay here. Stop being so wet? What the heck? Benzie won't be happy. Are you sure you want to annoy him? Hmm, the wrath of Corporal Benz doesn't, uh, does sound scarier than goblins. Okay, you persuaded me. I'll see you there. Okay, I have to find the... Oh, there's the bow. You find a bow down the back of the bed. Perfect. Open the quest panel by clicking here. You have gained an item which is part of the main story quest. Items which are only used by specific quests appear here instead of taking up space in your backpack. Okay. All right, let's go give them the use item on. Here. I found it back on down the back of your bed. Oh, thank you, thank you, you're a star. However did it end up there? I'll go see what Corporal Benz needs now. I am amazing. Do I have to leave? Oh yeah, they're all here. Let's go fight some goblins. At last, you're all here. If you lot were any slower, the goblins would have died of old age. Oh, if we kill them that way, we would wait, we could wait safely in here until they kill over. I'll pretend, I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Okay, recruits, through those gates. We're the best recruits ever. <laughs> Map updated, Stone Street. Oh my God, what the heck? The goblins look really creepy. <laughs> the heck? What do I do? Help defend the port! Fight those goblins! Alright, I'm gonna attack this one. With my sword. Is there... What do I do? Do I just... It's automatic? Hi, Chill! Get ready for some riveting combat. Um... Is this it? Okay, all right. <laughs> the heck? We got money. Open the professions panel by clicking here. You have started learning the guard profession. To view your progress in the profession, click here. As you level up further, look here to see what new activities you can do to progress more quickly in this profession. Recruit? Oh, what? I don't understand. Do I have to like fight all these different types of people? Okay, here, attack. You're doing it? The game is very much a chill game. Not much to do besides click and grind and stuff. Perfect to play while watching a movie or chatting. Oh, okay. I don't necessarily mind that. Is there farming and, and, and um, I don't know. 
what other stuff is there? I guess I'll find out. Maybe I shouldn't ask ahead. We saved the pimp! Hey guard, would you come over here please? I require assistance. Hey there, I could use some help, young lady. What do you need? I need help rescuing my wares from the goblins. I'll reward you well. Could you grab that heavy crate, please? I think perhaps I should be helping with the goblins. I don't think you realize how incredibly important these items are. Quickly now. Well, okay. What? Oh, I just take it? Okay, follow me southward to the town square. All right. I shouldn't be doing this. There are 21 professions in total so far in the game. Cool. 21, okay, that sounds like a lot. Right here we are. If you could please load my crate on this cart, that'd be great. Here you go. Thank you so much. Here, take this reward. Wow, he gave me a lot of money. Uh-oh. Miss Kylie, there you are. Corporal Benz is wondering where you went. You need to get back to Stone Street now or he'll be having you cleaning the whole training ground with a toothbrush. Oh boy, okay. Wait, hold on. So these are the professions. So we got guard, chef, fisherwoman, forger, and an alchemist. Ooh. But you said there's 21, so maybe I just haven't unlocked them yet because I have to go to these different areas. Ooh, I want to be a chef. I want to be a chef or maybe a fisherwoman. I like that. Okay. I like fishing. Miss Kylie, get here this instant. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. But I got money. I may be in trouble, but I'm rich. Recruit, where are the places you disappeared to? I went nowhere. I have been here. I have always been here. Don't lie to me. I just saw you come back from wherever you've been. If we were in a state of emergency, you'd be doing push-ups for your continued insolence. We have another issue right now. Captain DeGreen has been seriously injured. <gasps> oh no. Fetch Esworth, Ebsworth, oh. Okay, apothecary. Yes, sir. Okay. Ooh, apothecary. Oh, is this how we're gonna learn how to make potions? Ebsworth, teach me. Oh dear, with all the goblins outside, I haven't been able to restock the regents I need for my potions. You need to come quick. Captain DeGreen is lying hurt in Stone Street. Okay, I'll see you there. Interesting. Ooh, what's this? Discover potion stations. Open the professions panel by clicking here. Oh, alchemy profession. To help you remember where things are, each discovery you make will be added to the map. A view on map button like this one will be enabled for each thing you have discovered. 10% potion healing. Okay. Ooh. Read alchemy. Ooh, healing. Wait, what? Okay, hold on. So these are all of the potions. Okay. Ooh, a wealth potion. Okay. Thanks, Edwarden. How are you doing? They take a long time to max out, too, if it's even possible. It takes about eight hours of grinding to go from 10 to 30. And the max level in professions is 500. Each time it levels up, it gets slower too. Wow, <laughs> that is a lot of grinding. And that's okay though, you work towards it. That's, that's very, that's very the style of game, right? So, brown, makes sense. Brown kelp, 10% uh, potion. Okay, I don't have any brown kelp. Regent preparation stage. Take all regents to the preparation station to create a preparation for them. Carefully brew the preparation at the standard potion station. Pour the resulting brew. I wonder if that stuff is spe specific. What is this? Potion Regent Bank. You do not own any items which can be stored in this bank. Oh, and here's this station. Okay. Oh, what's this? Passive Potion Station. Well, I like how I can look at everything and like discover it. All right, let's go out. Okay, let's go talk to him. 
He's probably gonna have us make a health potion. The captain seems to be in a bad way. We'll have to make a healing potion. Which is going to be tricky when I'm clean when I'm clean out of brown kelp. Could someone run and fetch me a piece? Hey you, Miss Kylie, head to the beach and bring Ezworth some brown kelp. You'll need to head south to the waterfront, then head west. Which way is south? Okay, this way, I see the compass. So this way is south. And then, what did he say? And then west. So west is over here. Looks like it's locked. Uh, oh, maybe I have to go this way? This looks like it's the only area. Uh-oh. We got goblins. Oh no, ooh. Attack! Do I heal over time? The passive stuff is things you can set your character to do the experience while logged off. Wait, what? You can you can you can control or not control, but you can have your character do stuff when you're logged off. Oh, every time combat ends you heal the fool. Oh yeah, you're right! Cool! Okay, let's attack this goblin now. Look at all the fish! Let's go fishing. I think I went the wrong way, by the way. The health potions are more for wall in combat. I like that you don't have to heal after every comp- like, that's cool. Yay! Oh, I leveled! Current active foes. A hair beast? What the heck? <laughs> Hold on, I wanna... Look, an eel. Get it. You need to be at least level two fisher. Woman. Oh, darn it. Okay. Alright, can't do that. And here we go. This was locked, now it's unlocked. Eel Street. Am I going the right way? Ooh, a fishmonger. Good day, welcome. I should warn you, there's goblins about. I know, I managed to fend one away from my stall. What fish would you buy? I'll take most of them. A lot of people start off with flounders. They're pretty easy to catch and can be found at the East Beach. Show me your wares. Sure thing. There is nothing available to buy from the shop at your current level. Oh, okay. <laughs> I hope I'm going the right way. Oh look, you can just sit on the bench. Where where are all the people, Orca? I thought this was an MMO. Map updated. Oh, there's some bream. Where is the kelp? Oh wait, can I take the rope? You can take the rope and put it on your... Oh cool, I I'm just... Yoink, mine. Mine now. Oh, here we go. Some items are stored on your tool belt instead of taking up space in your backpack. The air, This area displays which items you have on your tool belt. Am I going the right way? Sir, do you know where the beach is? <laughs> oh, here we go. West waterfront. I just think I just took the long way around. Attack! Do they hit you one at a time, or is there sometimes there multiple hit attacks? Or... Oh, I'm on tutorial! Oh, okay, this is just a tutorial. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I wanna be where the people are. Exactly. <laughs> okay, it's always one at a time? Okay, that's good. Cause that wouldn't be fair to be like, attacked by like three things at once. Attack the goblins! Ooh, look at the crab. And the, and the bird. I like the music. Seems like it has a nice soundtrack. <gasps> the crab. Wait, where'd the bird go? Can I take... Can I take the crab? <gasps> I'm level two now. I can talk to the crab. Hello, little crab. Click, click, clickety clack. 
What the heck? You can talk to the... What? Okay, I need kelp. So... I discovered a lobster. Oh, there's a lobster in there. Um... Is this not where I'm supposed to be? Hold on. Oh, I'm supposed to go to East Beach. <laughs> well, I'll get there eventually. We're taking the long way around. Oh, I am going the right way? Oh, okay. Shady civilian. It's amazing how much useful stuff people just throw away. Hmm. What's this? Squirrel symbol. Someone has scratched this abstract design into the bricks. Okay. It's a lot of shady individuals. Ooh, what's this? Sorry, my stock hasn't uh, arrived yet. Please check back later. Okay. Well, let's go this way. <gasps> East Beach! We made it! I need kelp. Oh, look. Crab. That's a crab? Oh, it's like a hermit crab. Um. There's a shell. Isn't this the seaweed that I need? A flounder. Do I need to go in the water? Can I get the flounder? You caught... To catch mole, you need... Oh, I need a spear. Okay. Wait, how do I get this brown kelp? Um... Oh, I think this is the brown kelp. Oh, here it is. Forage. Perfect. I should take it back. Let's get, let's gather more since we're here. I like this. I like this game. It's really chill. I like it. Oh, oh shoot that, oh here we go. Level one forager, one more level until the next unlock. Cool. All right, so now we gotta go back. I feel like it would be faster to teleport. Or should I not? Unless there's like a shortcut. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, I'm gonna teleport. This is basically the whole game. At least for now. I wanna see how how does foraging stuff work with like so many other people playing the game? Ooh, a cabbage. Take that. Yoink. Is there other stuff I can, like, look at? Oh, look. Wow, you can just take so much stuff. I'm a thief. <laughs> I'm a thief. But there's nobody here to see it. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, money. <laughs> I really am a thief. <laughs> it's personal. Oh, oh, oh. So, okay. So you don't have to fight for like the same spot and like MMOs and stuff. Oh, wow. Look at all. Does, do I get to keep all this stuff when I leave Tutorial Island? What? This is awesome. Look at all the money. I do? Perfect. Taking all these people's items. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Anyone know what the deal with the pay subscription is? Like, what's the mine for and why do we need it? The mine is the third chapter. It's just more content and more, and more skills. Hmm. All right, what else? What else can I take? Can I take anything in the infirmary? Doesn't look like it. There are people here too. Um, can you teach me any magic? 
As it happens, I do know one useful spell. I will teach you a rift spell, which lets you access any equipment you have stored here, no matter where you are. Oh, cool. Man, it was a really good idea to backtrack. <laughs> Um, let's see. What can I do with old weapons and armor which I no longer want? I'd be happy to buy them off you. The Hopeport Guard can always use more equipment. They seem to lose stuff at an alarming rate. Hmm, okay. Good to know, good to know. I don't think there's anything else I can click on, so. Alright. Let's go back. You don't need it per se, and can just work on the first two locations. Well, that's good. All right, have you got that brown kelp yet? Yes, here it is. Well done, I'm finding it. Hmm, I need to keep an eye on the captain's wounds, but I also need to make that potion. Could I help at all? I suppose it wouldn't hurt for you to do the initial preparation. Take the brown kelp to the regent preparation station in my shop. There's quite a lot of stations in the apothecary, but the regent... Preparation one is the chopping board on my counter. Pop back with pop back to me when the preparation with the preparation when you finish making it. Okay. Alright, let's go make a potion. Ooh. Okay. Do I just wait? Wait, is it automatically making? Oh, it's making the ingredients, okay. I got the sub just cause it was only $6. Oh, it's $6, okay. All right, now what do I do? Read, maybe? Healing potion. Um, oh, standard potion station. Okay, here we go. Hey, stay away from that equipment. Oh, I need permission. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let me go tell him. Have you repaired? Yes. Okay, that's quite... That's actually quite good. You clearly have a talent for this. I don't think I should leave the captain. We will have to risk you finishing the potion yourself. Take this bottle and the preparation <clears throat> to the standard potion station in my shop and use it to make healing potions. You have gained a container. Containers do not take up space in your backpack. This area displays how many containers you currently have. Cool. What are all these other ones? A basket, a bucket, a crate maybe? A bag? A file? No. Okay. Here we go. Potion making. Pretty simple. I've run out into empty bottles. Okay, so I need more empty bottles to make more potions. Here you go. I've made the potion. You better give it to Captain DeGreen then. Use potion. Here, drink some of this. <sighs> wow, seaweed so healing. That's a fine medicine. I'm starting to feel better already. Ma'am, we have dispatched the last of the goblins. Good work. Get everyone back to the garrison. Okay, you miserable lot. You heard the captain. Now move it. Kylie, report to me when we get back. Am I in trouble? Wait, is there anything else here? <gasps> There's another cat. Are there, like, achievements in this game? Pet all the cats. <laughs> I'm in trouble. I did such a good job. I should be made potion master. I like the idea of doing that though. Okay, here. Corporal Benz. The captain wants to commend you on a, go a good job out there. So yeah, well done. However, what I saw, there was a lot of insolence and insubordination. You do some push-ups on the floor and do ten. Oh no! Wow, she can do a lot better push-ups than I can in real life. Thank God she's doing it. The only achievement that matters is the cat. Exactly. Ooh, I feel stronger. Squad 3 returning. Hey, Angrina, what's news? What news? Uh, that's ma'am to you, Corporal. Sorry, ma'am. I thought we were closer than that. Not while we're on duty, Corporal. 
Anyway, you wanted news. You, we've got, we just got back from Timberwell Village. Routed a bunch of goblins from there. The world is getting a more da the world is getting a more dangerous place. Talking of danger, we have new recruits such as Kylie here in need of learning the immunity spell. Sure, I can teach that. The spell prevents enemies from attacking you for a short while, though the spell will expire if you initiate an attack. You can use it during combat if you need to retreat. Oh, that's helpful. My cat broke out through my basement window to attack a neighbor cat a few days ago. Oh my gosh, the drama! What the heck? We had to chase him around the neighborhood to get him back inside, and then we had to take him to the vet for an antibiotic shot since he had a bite wound in his ear. What the heck? What made him so savage? Aw, is he okay though? Was the shot fine? He's fine now. Jeez. The neighbor cat knows what it did. Yeah, that's true. The neighbor cat was probably antagonizing. Freaking. Is the neighbor's cat okay? He's fine, thank goodness. Goodness, jeez. He probably did more damage to the neighbor cat. I think, maybe. Or maybe the neighbor cat did more damage. Regardless. Jeez. My next job will be to take you on a training drill in the forest, but you need a little more training before it is safe for you to go into the forest. I need you to complete your bow training with Robin, who is standing over there by the archery targets. I also need you to train your total level to at least 60. Do you have any suggestions on how to train myself? The guard profession itself is mostly about combat experience. However, it is not just the guard profession I want you to train in. For example, the professions of a chef, forager, fisherwoman, and alchemist all include things which are useful for a guard to learn. Also, Commander Hackett can often use a hand at the town gates. I'd hope you use your initiative and search for opportunities. Whoa! Tell me about the fisherwoman profession. First, you'll need to buy a fishing spear from Mel's Fishing Supplies. The easiest fish to catch are by the beach. And after that, there are plenty of other fish you can catch. Chef! Your best bet would be to talk to the head chef at the Delectable Dab. Okay. Open the settings panel by clicking here. Privacy that you can now meet other players. You can choose which kinds of interactions you wish to allow or disallow via your privacy settings. Share character name with nobody. Chat with nobody. Oh, <laughs> so introverted. <laughs> Um, I can change this. Oh. 25. Um, anybody can see my name. I think that's fine. Which you guys can chat with you? I feel like anybody. That's fine. Anybody, anybody, anybody. Friend, friend, friend. Cool. Alright, I'm sociable now. Wow! Okay, so we need to go talk to Robin. So wait, does that mean I'm out of Tutorial Island if they are giving me these opportunities? He's fine. Oh wait, Thomas, my cat, pushed open the glass window and, and bent the screen out of the frame? Jeez. <laughs> I've had enough of this. <laughs> Ari, the neighbor cat, definitely has been antagonizing him for years now. Thomas also didn't stand a chance, so I had to get between them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he didn't stand a chance. Poor kitties. Jeez. Freaking Ari needs to go away. <gasps> you got a cat, Poot. Oh, congrats. What's your kitty's name? What kind of cat did you get? Oh, I'm not out yet? Darn it. Okay. I have to keep my bow skills finely tuned if we are to defend Hopeport. Please, can you show me how to use a bow? I only have time to teach the most promising recruits. Half of you won't last the month anyway. Do some more combat training with your sword first and come back when you are at least a level 15 guard. Level 15? But that's going to take forever. What? Do I have to attack the training dummy? Will this get me to level 15? 
Is this what you mean by like going offline or whatever? Am I leveling? No, I'm not. At least maybe, or maybe I was, I don't know. I wanna go find that chef guy and the person with the fishing. Head out of the area, oh my. Oh my God, there's so many people. Wait, why does people have numbers above their head? <laughs> Who's Kevin? Hello, Kevin. Welcome to Kevin's Ingredients. You look like a sort of person who is into ingredients. Would you like to purchase some? Ingredients are great, but I'm not in an ingredient mood today. <laughs> Numbers your lifespan, like Death Note. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually recently rewatched or started rewatching um, Death Note. It's been so long since I've seen it. Oh, it's a black, long haired cat I got from the animal shelter. I've named him Sento. I love that. Artbert. Oh my god. Sento is a perfect name. That's cute. Wait, what's your name? It's Miss Kylie. Um, let's see. Oh, here's fishing. Let's go in here. The delectable dab. Oh wait, here we go. Perfect, where is the chef? Wow, there's so many people. Recipe book, you can level up your chef profession in this room. Read this recipe book for further instructions. Okay. Oh, bacon sandwich, ooh. What's the number after it? Um, I don't know, how do I know what number? I think it's not number one uh do sense yeah oh number one i'm number one hi i'll pay you for any meals you prepare so we can sell them in the restaurant where can i get ingredients there is an ingredient seller out in the stone street who has a whole bunch of useful items uh, when you're making seafood dishes, it's most economical to catch your own. Though, if you're not into fishing, there is a fish stall on Eel Street. For that matter, you might be able to forage certain ingredients like potatoes. Is there anything else I can talk to? No, I don't. Um. Ooh, what's this? Cooking stations. Okay. I only have to, I guess I only have to like click on things if they have question marks. Um, can you add me, Orca? Can we like be in a party together? Game says you don't exist for me. Are you doing Miss Kylie with two E's? Yeah? Oh, try adding you? Okay, um, how? How do I add people? Is it because I'm, like, not done yet with, like, my tutorial or something? Oh, here. Maybe this. Friends. Community server offline. Please try again later. Oh. Oh, invite friend. What is yours, Orca? Is it just Orca? Invite successfully sent. You have to pay to not get a number after your name, right? <gasps> I'm friends with you, Orca! <laughs> yeah? Here, can I talk to this guy? Do you have any work for me? I can always use the help of a skilled alchemist at my regent preparation station. When you are a level 20 alchemist, head to the preparation and I'll sort you out with some work. Level 20? What do you have? Oh look, I can buy more containers. I think I wanna buy two because I think I had enough ingredients to make two? I don't know, let's see. He's the orca, I know. So popular. <laughs> can you change your name? Like, if I wanted to just be Kylie, is that possible? 
I made a health potion. I'm level one. Oh, I don't have any other stuff. Okay. All right. Well, oh, there you are. Wow, Orca, you're going to live for 220 days. After you get a sub, you have to pick your name. Why am I only a four? Is it because that's like how many levels I have or something? Oh, that's my total level. Oh, wow. Orca, you're 220? Jeez. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I want to cook something. I think I have to go to Kevin and buy stuff. Let's see. Trade. What is this? I needed bacon and something else. What is this? Oh, bread. I'll buy one bread and one bacon. Okay. Good morning, Majona. How are you? All right, let's make a bacon sandwich. Or what? What was it? Let's make a um. Yeah, bacon sandwich. Fry some bacon and then sandwich the bacon between some bread on the preparation table. Okay. So we gotta fry. So deep fryer, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, frying pan. Here we go. Frying pan. Wait, I like how I don't have to share. I can just take over. I don't have to time any of this. It just automatically does it. Oh, it does. Nice. I'm making a sandwich. Oh, look at me cutting the bread. Oh, I did it. Now, I think I could sell the stuff to the head chef. But wait, where did he go? He was right here a moment ago. Wait, where did he go? At level 9, you unlock the fun part of cooking. You get orders to fulfill. Oh, so it's like Diner Dash. <laughs> Wait, that's cool. So you can grab an order, cook the items, and deliver them, and get a lot of silver. Oh, I love that. That's fun. Oh, here's the head chef. Why do they move over here? Look, I can sell my bacon sandwich. <gasps> and you get money back. Wait, that's cool. Okay. All right, all right. Let's go learn how to unlock fishing. Orca, do you want to invite me to, like... A party or what do you do? Oh wait, what am I? Wait, what is this again? What is immunity again? Now <laughs> try it in real life. What making a bacon sandwich? A BLT? Does sound good. Oh look, here's a fishing icon. Oh here we go, fishing supplies. Welcome to my store. How's business? Pretty good. Hope Board attracts a lot of fishermen because it's rich in fish. Oh, what's this? Oh. I think this is all you can do with friends. Oh. <laughs> Wait, okay. Trade. I need a spear. Oh, that was pretty expensive. Um, okay. <laughs> Prep. Uh, press the back button to return to the list of professions. Oh, okay. Um, fishing. You gained equipment which relates to the fisherwoman profession. Profession equipment does not take up space in your backpack and instead appears here. Okay. Alright, well, let's go fish. Let's go catch some fish, guys. I forgot where... I forgot where it was, but, uh... Um, I don't think it was this way. Was it? Oh, I think it was up here. This is where the beach was. Oh, here we go. I have to be level two to get those fish. So let me go and get the flounders. I think the flounders is what I needed. Later on, you do get stuff you can do with friends. Oh, okay. What about the bream? Oh, I have to be level 48. <laughs> oh. <laughs> not quite, not yet. Like, you can do a two-person saw to cut down some trees. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wait, this isn't where I was. This is a different area. 
Salty swine. Is there like a map to, oh. Oh, this is what I need. Look, whoa, this is kind of confusing now. Where am I? Oh, I'm here. I think I'm the white dot. So if I keep going over, all right. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm pretty sure I went this way to get to the beach. No, this is something different. I'm turning around. At least I'm finding so many different types of fish. I'm guessing the map changed. <sighs> um, nope, it didn't. I just forgot. Is there any other stuff? Oh look, I can forage again. Should I kill this crab? Oh no, that crab is level 30. <laughs> All right, good to know. When does forage stuff, like, come back? You know, like, when can I get that stuff again? The dev said P2P trading, player to player trading will be added soon after launch. Oh, okay. Can I forage this shell? No, I have to be level six. Okay. All right, well, let's catch these flounders. Oh, whoa, what the heck? Whoa, look at me go! At least, I'm, I, I'm really happy that this game doesn't make it so that you're fighting for the resources. Because everything would always be gone. <laughs> I was wondering how they were going to do that. I know, it is very stabby stabby. Okay, I think that's all the flounder that I could get. Oh, I'm level one. Okay. Is there... Maybe there's some more? Oh. Ooh, what's this? A rock pool? Is there more fish? No. Looks like there's no other fish I can get. Hold on. Oh, I guess you have to... If I go back, hold on, does it reset? And that PvP will be added within six months or so. Ooh. Wait, how does PvP work? Do you lose all your precious items if you die? And, I mean, I'm assuming you have to agree to PvP. There's also side quests you can pick up around. Okay. And that basically would help you level up. Hold on. How much space can I have? Oh, wow. I have a lot of stuff. Actually, here. Let's go back. I want to go and cook. I want to go cook this fish if possible. Oh, what is this? Or maybe I should go sell the fish. I'm not sure. I feel like I should go cook it. Ooh, what's this? What's this? What's that? Ooh. Ooh, there's rats. Ooh. Oh, here's a quest. Haley, can I help you? I have junk to sort. Are you a relation of Lord Br Branoff? Distantly, yes. We share a great grandparent. You're a Branoff, but ended up as a scrapyard worker? I should have a share of the Branoff inheritance, but for the mistrust of my family. Fifty years ago, my great-grandmother, Lady Florentine Branoff, was dying. However, she was not happy with how badly her four children got on, so she devised a plan to get them to work together to earn their inher inheritance. Each of them got a part of a clue to the inheritance, but they didn't trust each other and couldn't work together. So this... So there is Branoff wealth just hidden somewhere? Yep, I think we should try and recover it. No one wants to speak to this. No one wants to speak to the scrapyard Branoff, though. 
I could help you find an inheritance. I'm not sure Florentine's descendants will listen to you either, but it's worth a try. Heck, if you somehow pull it off, I'll even give you a share of my share. Who else has Florentine clues? Some of her other descendants, for a start there's Lord Branoff. His father was the only one who got anything besides titles and houses, or because titles and houses are something Florentine couldn't hide. Then there is James Newtap. He's ended up working as a plumber. Finally, there is the Hadley family. That will be tricky. They moved out of town years ago. I did hear rumors one of them was back in town. I don't know if that's true. I'll see if I can get any of those people to help. Oh, I should give you my clues too. She hands you a scrap of paper and a folded map. Any clue what your clues mean? Not really. I suppose the treasure lies somewhere within the confines of this map. I'm guessing it only makes sense in combination with other clues. Okay. Wait, what is her clue? Where is it? Can I not what? Can I not read it? Is that a side quest? <clears throat> How cool. Remove broom. Oh. Um, not sure what this is, so I'll come back. That's for a quest? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm guessing it's to catch one of those rats. Maybe I need to like put cheese down or something. <laughs> oh, what's these? Are any of these things like at aggressive so I have to worry about it? Or is stuff pretty much only, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, it's only if you attack kind of thing. Sometimes, yeah? Oh boy, okay. Alright, good to know. Um, hmm, what else can I do? I need to reach level 15, so I guess I need to go and attack some, like, monsters. But level 15 feels like that's gonna take a while. <laughs> I wanna go back and see if I can, if I can cook. Oh wait, let me see. I'm not level two yet, but hold on, I'm gonna try. Oh darn it, okay, yeah. Have to be level two. Um, where was the chef? Here, north. Oh wow, you can click on the mini map and it just takes you. Oh, okay, that's nice. My sense of direction. This is definitely helpful. <laughs> Hi, Froom. Hope you're having a good day. Read. I want to cook some fish. Oh, I guess I can't do anything with this flounder. Yeah, this is grilled bass, but it has to be a bass. This is stingrays. And then these are all cod. Oh, puffer fish. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I guess I can't do anything with mine, so I have to sell it. Um, open your bag and click on the flounder, it'll tell you. Oh. Surprisingly flat for a fish. Um. Oh, it's just for selling? Okay, that's why it just shows the money. Okay, so let's go back to that guy I spoke to. He was like back here, I think. And I could sell fish to him. I don't know if there's like anybody just buys fish. Oh wait, no, this guy says he buys fish too, doesn't he? I wonder if you can like haggle in the game. Sell. Oh, hmm. Okay, never mind. Can't sell to him. Alright, well, let's go to the uh, uh, 
this guy, the guy on the bridge. Or this bridge. I think he said, yeah, fishmonger. Sell, ah, here we go. Sell all six. Yay! We made money! Okay, what can we do? What should we do now? I'm collecting clues for Haley's Haley Brenoff to find a lost inheritance. I need to decipher the swirl clue. I need a clue for oh swirl clue. Look on the back, you find an inscription which says opposite the ge geometric shapes. Hmm. Well, there was a swirl we saw, which was. It was like on these docks. At least I remember seeing them. Oh, sorry, Orca. I didn't see that until now. I'm sorry. Are <laughs> we rich? If you open the quest log, you can see the difficulty of the quest. How do you open the quest log? Oh, you mean. Oh, this is five star. <laughs> Oh, so I got a really hard one. <laughs> but look, here's the swirl symbol. The swirl matches the clue given to you by Haley. You make a mental note of this location. <gasps> See? Does it does it update? Maybe not. All right, what else do I need to do? Um, how do I start leveling? Like, where can I go to attack stuff? That's like my level. Which is, what level am I? I'm level two for guard, for guard. Go back to the start area, okay. Where the dummies are, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, teleport, you're right, I can teleport. Duh, forgot. Okay. Do I attack the training dummies or? Oh wait, there's an area right here. I'll wait. <laughs> oh, yep, go in here. Oh, sparring arena. Oh, uh, do I just? Perfect. If you want to retreat from a battle, you can click here to cast the new immunity spell. Don't leave it too late, as it takes a few seconds to cast. So you just go here and you level? Ow, wow, my knee! Oh, I'm level three now! I can find a death throw. Go there for a few levels until you get higher guard and better gear. Okay. Until you get higher guard and better gear. Okay. How do I get better gear? Do I just have to be a higher level in order to unlock that pretty much? Oh, they drop it? Wait, they drop it? Do I have to pick it up or does it automatically go in my inventory? Wait, this, this guard is... Wait, if that guard's level 18, I shouldn't fight the level 18 ones, right? Oh, you won't be able to? I wish there was kind of like a rock, paper, scissors element. Or maybe th maybe there is later. <laughs> um, <laughs> should I just cook a bun? Oh, <gasps> common guards canabo. I'm level four. Take this. I got an item. Perfect. All right. How do I? How do I equip it? Oh. 
You must tune this weapon at an obelisk before it can be used. Oh, there is a rock, paper, scissors element? The way it works is that uh, always where guards are, but as you level up the guard skill, you can... You, you get higher level enemies, so when you unlock the 18 guard you kill... To kill, you come here as well. Oh, okay. Got it. Um, how do... Where's this obelisk? Maybe this? I can start this quest by talking to Commander Hackett on the walls of the town gate. The obelisk is locked at the moment. Do that quest to get it. Okay, okay. I just have to find where to go. What's his name again? Commander Hackett. Uh, okay. Is there like an easier way to find him? Because I don't know. Where's the town gate? This is the town square. Maybe I haven't found the town gates. Yeah, maybe I just haven't found it yet. Here, let's go over here. Maybe this is the town gate. Brana Boulevard. <sighs> How are you doing, chat? Y'all are quiet this Sunday. Maybe because the gameplay is not super riveting. But I like it! I like this! This is fun! To me, at least. <laughs> I still don't know how to find the... Town... Oh, a obelisk! Wait, I think this is where I need to be. Who is this? Corporal? This is somebody else. This obelisk is proving difficult to fix. Info. Okay. Could something go in the indention on top? Okay, this doesn't look... Well, clearly it's working! Liar! <laughs> Hi, Whirly! I'm playing a game. Ooh, what are you playing? You playing 14 on the side? I can see... I can... I like... Oh, I'm taking that. Yoink. Mine now. Ooh, this is like... Ooh, we can search it. Ooh, we're just stealing from people again. Is this like the mansion? Of... Ooh, who's this? Kohen. So much to do, so little time. What are you doing under my feet? What a nice house you have. Very tasteful decor. Alas, it is not mine, though I am in charge of keeping it nice. Could I help you in some way? Most of my tasks require my personal expertise, though I do have one job that requires a nobody. I'll have you know, I'm a member of the local guard. Yep, that works. So what do you need? Weaver, lots of sizable shipment of Carthian plummetae. Plumbate. They were shipped to Hopeport on a boat named the Invincible, but were claimed by a miscreant per pretending to work for me. I've made some inquiries, but I'm a known representative of Lord Ban Branoff, so Hopeport's less savory characters keep their mouth shut when I'm about. I need you to deduce who has our weapons and then report back to me. Uh, where should I start looking? You could talk to Captain Shirker of the Vincible. He's docked in port. Also, ask about ask around in the Hooked Hand if there's stolen goods to be brought. The clientele there will know about it. The Hooked Hand. Just don't reveal that you're a guard. Those types aren't inclined to help the law. What are plummete? Sounds like a type of fruit. They are thrown weapons. Sometimes they're known as war darts. Why did you order a lar why did you order a large weapons delivery? Well done. You seem to have the investigative instincts you'll need for this job. Thank you. So why did you order? 
What with the goblins getting so aggressive, Lord Branoff graciously allowed his household the means to protect themselves. So I found a merchant offering some great bulk buys. It worked out better to buy extra and sell the spares on. Not for personal gain, you understand. Yes, I understand. Nothing suspicious there. Okay. <laughs> a little suspicious by saying it's not suspicious, but okay. The plucky squire. It is kind of like that. Sounds like it. All day, all thanks for the five stream streak. How are you today? Happy Sunday. Wait, is that another cat? Oh, a cat. Pet the kitty. No, not suspicious at all. Not indeed. Indeed. No. Oh, trunk. Oh, search the trunk. Nice. Bedside table. I feel like I'm gonna get. Karma for stealing. <laughs> oh, I already have this stuff. Oh, here's Branoff. I need to talk to you about your inheritance. I'm not sure my financial affairs have a lot to do with you. I was speaking to someone who would be, who would be due money from Florentine Branoff's inheritance. Wouldn't you like to get hold of your share too? We've been speaking to Haley Branoff. Oh, you've been speaking to Haley Branoff, haven't you? I wouldn't trust that junkyard rat not to run off with the lot. That's a shame. I guess the inheritance will stay hidden. Oh, wait, what? No. I'll be the one securing the treasure, not her. Do I have any guarantee you wouldn't run off with the treasure yourself? How can I prove my trustworthiness? Well, there is one way. I believe Sultar Malzak of the town guard has a spell that they use to track people on bail. Go and ask him to cast that spell so I can track you. That's rather invasive. Those are my terps. Take it or leave it. But tell me, do I have to do that for him to tell me, like, his clue? Wow. <laughs> That's rather invasive. <laughs> um, what is this child doing? Buzz off, you'll give me away. Oh, okay. Is it, is there a point to talk to like the NPCs? All right, wow, okay, so by trying to find a quest, I found another quest. <laughs> I have to do that one. Um, But where, where are the town gates? All right, let's keep exploring. We gotta, clearly I haven't explored everything yet. So let's go this way. Karma will be had. No, I only want the good karma. Oh, what's this? Wall plant. Forage. Oh, I'm not level two yet? I guess you have to memorize. Ooh, what's this? Is this a barber? Oh, a hairdresser. Oh my God, look at all the hair. Sit on. Please do my hair, sir. Is there anything else in here? I guess we talk to him. Can I interest you in a haircut? Yes, please. There'll be one silver. I changed my mind. <laughs> okay, so that's where you go to change your hair. It's a lot of walking around. Good thing about discovering those things is that they show up on the map. So if you ever need to know where something is, it'll be on the map. Yeah, I really like that. Because it shows you everything. That's really nice. Have to memorize it and it also shows you like the level you know like wall plant too hey look these are death crows i can attack these oh ow it kind of does a lot of damage yeah they hurt uh orca help me i'm gonna die Oh, maybe not. Okay, all right, lesson learned. I'm not gonna, oh my God. All right, lesson learned. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna attack the crow. Shady civilian. Whoa, what the heck? There's like so many pathways. Okay. Let's talk to, hey, this is New Tap. He's the plumber guy. 
Oh, I love to be among the pipes. You like stinky sewage pipes? To you, they might be this be stinky sewage pipes. To me, they're the veins which keep this town alive. And I'm the doctor who makes sure they're all flowing properly. I need to talk to you about the Branoff inheritance. My mother, in all her years, never got her hands on that. I'm resigned to not finding it either. It's a plumber's life for me. If you give me your clue, maybe I can find the inheritance for you? I'm not going to give it to anyone. You'll have to do something special to earn my trust. Go on. I'm getting a problem with the increasing size of my bald pot patch. If you can find a way to get it growing again, I'd be much I'd be much appreciated. How am I meant to do that? Going bald is normally rather permanent. I don't know, maybe some sort of potion would do the trick. There's definitely people about who know about this sort of thing. Okay, so we have to help him not go bald. <laughs> the heck? That's very specific. Okay. Hair loss. Um, okay. What's in here? The cloak room? This is cool. Let's talk to this guy. Find his capes and all the Dorthria. How do you know they're the finest capes? <laughs> That's easy. We're the only place that sells these capes. Our manufacturing process is a trade secret. Okay. Why do I need to be a certain level to wear one of your capes? My capes are specially enchanted to allow people to show off their profession level. How much are they? Oh, you have to be level 20. Okay. I want a cape. Just do the old comb over. <laughs> I want a cape too. Orca, aren't you level 20? You're like level 220. <laughs> the heck? What's in here? Oh, the forager's warehouse. Okay. Ella. Welcome. Can I just do some forging equipment? Sure. Oh, okay. So this is how I can buy this. All right, I'm gonna buy one of these. I'm gonna buy like one of each because I don't think I have any of those. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so I have one of each. Oh, except I don't have, I don't have a, there. There we go. Anything else in here? No? Okay. All right, well, we checked out this area. Let's check out this area next. <gasps> Town gates! We found it! Okay. So somewhere, somebody here. I'm supposed to talk to somebody here, I think. Who was it? Commander Hackett. Maybe, oh, maybe he's in here. Where do you think you're going? I hope you're not deserting. Sorry about my colleague. We have been ordered to keep the gates locked by Captain DeGreen. Oh, okay. Well, maybe he's around here. North walls. What is this? Uh-oh. That's level six. Uh-oh, I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, maybe not that way. Maybe this way? There's so many goblins with their level six. I'm not level six yet. Um, oh wow, that one's level 8. Okay, not going that way either. How terrifying. Okay, maybe in here. What the heck? Nay, Beth? Ooh. Copper sink. Okay, well, maybe we can talk to this philosopher. Hello, I assume you're a figment of my imagination. Can I help you? What? Why do you think I'm a figment of your imagination? Because you suddenly appeared in my house, so I probably just dreamt you up. I just walked through the front door. You've left it wide open. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Nabeth, official philosopher to the House of Branoff. Why does the House of Branoff need to employ a philosopher? I use my insights about the wider universe to advise Lord Branoff on the, f the running of Hopeport. Um, I'm just browsing. Browsing? This is my home, not a shop. 
Um, I don't know where this commander is. Commander Hackett. Oh, on the walls. Okay, so he is on the walls. Okay, so, um... Let's just see if I can just... Maybe I can go up this... Okay, as long as this guy does... Oh my god, it's level 28. Oh, I think this is him. Oh wait, no, that's a guard. Okay. Wait, why am I crouching? Okay, maybe he's this way. Ah, we found him, finally! Good day, recruit. Good day, sir. Oh. No, it's not. There's goblins everywhere. Are you trying to be smart with me? Also, you'll address me as sir. I'll be mentioning this to your training officer. Uh, Corporal Vin said you needed a hand over here. He's not wrong. Constant goblin incursions are wearing down our men and equipment. I'll give you a new sword to help fight. We've just achieved... We just received this new shipment. The key arrived separately for security reasons. I've got a man fetching it now. Oh no! Look out behind you! Uh-oh. You little blighter! Oh, is this steam coming out of his ears? Wait, catch that goblin! Can I fight it? Wait, what's this? Okay, I can't open it yet. Wait, but it's level 10! I can't fight that guy. Ah! I'll have to come back. I'm not level 10 yet. Maybe I should go... <laughs> Time to get some levels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's, uh... Let's uh, go back. Let's go back and fight, um... Uh, the, the those people. <laughs> Here, let me teleport. <laughs> these things are oh, these things are level two. Mm, but th they hurt, so um, I'd rather go and fight these people. <laughs> okay, so I what level am I right now? I'm level four, so I needed to be level six. Okay. I literally thought that I could use that weapon if I quickly did that quest, but I didn't realize that quest had, like, so much to do. My bad. Is this better? What is that? Is that just my hand? Probably a sword is better. Oh my god, this guy's gonna kill me. Oh my god, kill him! Okay. Okay, I'm level five. Just one more, one more level. <sighs> the combat in this game is too RNG reliant at the moment. Yeah. Is that why I should just constantly be making potions? Oh, Orca, did you answer me about the um, like how long does it take? to have the more of the brown kelp pop up again. Jeez, that was close. I'm not sure. But I can show you where all the kelps are. Actually, yeah, can you help me? Wait, let me get to level six real quick and then and then can you show me? I want to make some more health potions. Is there anybody else playing this game? You can feel free to add me. Can you join guilds? Are there guilds in this game? And also, what happens if you die? Do you lose money? One run of getting them all, and by the time you run back to the first, it'll be spawned again. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look. Ooh, I got another sword. But I think it's like the same thing. <laughs> yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. Good job, 
something else. Ooh, it's purple. Ooh, I got leggings. Oh, I'm level six now. Oh, hey, perfect. I have pants on. I have armor. You can view and equip, unequip your um, equipped armor here. Once combat starts, you can no longer change which armor you have equipped. Okay. All right, Orca, where are you? Can I like port to where you are, maybe? Nearby players. Oh wow, you can see all the people. Creepy paper. Interesting name. <laughs> the heck? You'll meet me here? Join same server. Oh, are there like different servers? Is that what helps prevent like lag? Oh wait, I need to talk to this guy. I forgot. I need to... What do I need to do? I needed, to... I needed him to give me bald potion or something. All right. I need your help. Oh no, this is a tracking spell. Right. Yeah, sure. Bring the criminal and we can proceed. Actually, I need you to cast it on me. Wait, what? I'm retrieving some money for Lord Brenoff. He doesn't want me to run off with it. Well, this is a little unconventional. Okay, I'll meet you at Brenoff Manor. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll be here, Orca. Oh, there you are. Can I like right click and follow you? Oh, no, okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go get some kelp. What have you had the most fun doing in the game, Orca? What is like your top thing that you enjoyed the most? Is that just like collecting everything or is it the quest? Is it like a certain profession? I like the idea of the chef thingy. I want to do that. Oh God, I lost you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> just grinding stuff, being able to watch movies and stuff. Yeah, that kind of would be nice. <laughs> I'd like to do that and be able to watch like K Korean dramas. <laughs> Though Tom and I have been watching this Japanese drama like very recently and I kind of I actually kind of like it. It's not like super amazing, but it's like super nostalgic for him apparently, but it's called Good Luck. Have any of y'all heard of it? It's basically about um, a guy who is training to become a pilot. And, um, I don't know. I, I like it so far. It's very simple. I think it came out in, like, the 2000s. So it's, like, pretty old. <laughs> but it's on Netflix. <laughs> I've only had bad luck. Which is kind of funny, because there is this one line. Because obviously it's in Japanese, right? And he kind of speaks some English. Okay, I'm coming. He speaks some English, the guy. Um, but it's mainly in Japanese, and it has, um, uh, subtitles, of course. That's why I can actually watch it and enjoy it. But, oh, ooh, there is more. Yay! Thanks, Orca. I'm gonna gather these. But there was, like, I think it was, like, the first episode, or maybe it was the second episode. He's, like, the captain allowed him. Oh, that's all of them? Okay. The captain allowed him to, um like talk to the cabin crew like oh this is your captain speaking blah 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 and ooh, level two and um i think it's really funny because he was like oh the weather is blah 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 whatever and then at the very end he says good luck and then both me and tom like cracked up laughing because we're like we don't want a pilot to say good luck to us <laughs> when you're on the plane um but i think it's just like some translation issue <laughs> <laughs> but it was really funny. Ooh, a starfish. Okay, so then you said if I gather these, then if I come back, then I should be able to gather the rest. Let's try. Good luck! <laughs> but anyways, oh yeah, you're right. It was cute. It's a cute little Japanese drama, but it's like super... It's, it's older. <laughs> But I like being able to watch things that, like, Tom finds nostalgic. But anyways, good luck if y'all want to watch a pilot-themed Japanese drama. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so... Okay, now that I got a lot of kelp... Um... Should I go just do some more potions, just because? Oh, wait, I need to go to Branoff. Oh, man, I'm doing so many things. There's too, too much. Okay, I'm level 6. I still need to be level 10. This, I don't know where that is. I'm going to wait for that quest. Um, and then this one, here, we'll go to Branoff's chamber. Oh, cool. Can I click all the way over there? 
Wait, where am I? Oh, you can only click so far ahead. Did you ask about Twilight? No, not yet. I need to ask him if, 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 oh, hold on. Also, wait, there's actually this place I haven't been in. What is this? There's an area over here I haven't been to. Oh, this is the hooked hand. Oh. I think I'm supposed to talk to people here, aren't I? Hey. I'll have a drink, please. No, I'm not interested in grog. <laughs> oh. Um, did you hear about the missing plummete? I'm not your gossipy sort of barkeeper, especially not with guards. Oh. <clears throat> How about Big Sean? Hi! I'm looking for some plummete. Heard someone here was selling some. Like I said, I ain't interested in chit chat. Hmm. What about this guy, Wellington? The likes of who? Guards, of course. Who says I'm a guard? The guard armor you have equipped says so. Oh, I have to take my armor off. Oh, I see. Then I can talk to him. Hi. I'm looking for funny. I heard someone was selling some. Oh, what the heck? What about him? But I don't have any Garmar. Why do you want to help her? Do you know her? No, I'm not going to help. I was just being polite. It's not polite to offer help you don't intend to give. Um. I wish I could find a seller of Carthian Plumite. <laughs> Exotic fruit isn't really a specialty of this tavern. Plumite aren't fr They do, however, sell some very fine drinks and some delicious bar snacks. I heartily recommend the sausage rolls. Yes, I... Well, what's with the full sales pitch, Wellington? Gerd paid me to advertise this bar. Haven't done much advertising, though, as this involves in leaving this bar. I only bother when the general public wanders inside. I was merely complaining about how hard it is to buy combat equipment these days. I think Lord Brandon's trying to keep us in line by restricting the weapon supply. Excuse me, I couldn't help but overhear that you're looking for Carthian Plumite. I know someone who could help. <gasps> that sounds good! I should warn you, however, this will be a very confidential arrangement with an extremely dangerous man. If you don't respect that, things will end badly for you. Ooh. Who is this person you can supply me? No one knows his real name. Some say he doesn't even exist. He's known as the Illusion. Okay. You've seen every Twilight movie? Me too. Tom hasn't though, and I want to watch it with him. He'll probably hate it, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Hard to buy things off someone who might not exist. Uncertain existence is a poor business model. He has ways of doing business while preserving his anonymity. Have you heard of the frequently fresh fish stall? Hold on. Um. Uh, fish stall sells weapons? That sounds unusual. Haven't you heard of pikes or swordfish? Shut up, you two clowns. What about hatchet fish or spear fish? <laughs> Never mind that. The stall is used as a method of secret communication. This week you can send a message to the illusion inside a fetid flounder and receive his reply in a fish of your choice. What's a fetid flounder? It's an ugly fish. Foul tasting too. No one normally buys them, so it sits on the stall until one of the illusion's operatives collects it. You should be able to catch one at the overgrown pond. This all seems unnecessarily complicated. <laughs> the illusion moves in mysterious ways, but no one can question his brilliance at debating the law. Do you have anything for catching fetid flounders? No, mate. I'm sure there's a shop in Hopeport selling fi sells fish equipment. Goodbye. Cool. We got another. Yeah, I guess it's rotten fish. Um, you 
You need 25 fishing? What? Are you kidding? 25? That's pretty high. Okay, well. Oh, well. At least we got more more stuff for that. Or more um, information. What should I work on? Oh, yeah. I was, he I was heading to the guy's chamber. Right. I was heading to the chamber, which is this tiny area right here. You're now a part of the quest I'm on. The obelisk one is easy to do. Okay, maybe I should focus on that one. But I but I have to I have to try Should I go fight that that uh thing? <laughs> Derp, I can't talk anymore apparently. Should I go fight that goblin? It was level 6, wasn't it? Here, first since first we're going to go to the guy's chamber. I want to, I want, I guess I want to be tracked. <laughs> I think this is where he was. Perfect. Let's get started on this spell right away. Rakta Himta. Now what? My job here is done. Anything else is between you and Lord Brennoff? Am I being tracked now? Well, wow, this is intriguing. I can tell precisely where you are now, even when I close my eyes. That's rather unnerving. Okay, now I trust you with my clue. What's the clue? Is this his clue? On the back you find an inscription which says, Plot the symbols, X marks the spot. All right, well, we'll <laughs> this is a five-star quest, so it makes sense that it doesn't make any sense to me at all. Um, all right, let's go back to, um, where was I? Town gates. We need to go to the town gate. You can only click so far ahead, I guess. Put your Nancy Drew brain to work. Decipher them clues. Heck yeah. You know, we still have to go back to that one Nancy Drew game. But I'm not looking forward to it. Because it's... Eh. I didn't like it. <laughs> eh. I was really hoping I would. Here, can I go up here? Oh god. Oh god! No! Flee! <laughs> ah! Okay, not that way. <laughs> Is there a shortcut? <laughs> ah, so scary! Welcome back, Lulu! I'm gonna yeah. go this way. Oh, 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 okay. So I think the the thing I needed to kill was here. Yeah, this guy. Oh wait, he's level ten. Just kidding. Wait, I'm level six. I can go fight this guy. Oh dang it. Oh wait, what the heck? He's level seventy-seven. What? Oh wait, but this one's level six. Oh god, am I gonna die? Is this guy level? Man, he attacked me when I was going down the freaking... Uh-oh. I'm gonna leave and come back. That's not fair. He got so many hits in. Chase the guy fighting him is high level. Chase what guy? Here, I'll fight this thing. I think you need gear. Oh shoot, I forgot, I don't have the pants on. Here, I'm gonna leave before he kills me. Maybe I should go make some more health potions. I'll come back. These guys are kind of hard. <laughs> 
Oh, I'll come back. I'll come back. Or maybe I can fight the crows. Actually, maybe I can fight the crows. Yeah, let's fight a crow. Have I caught up to Orca's level yet? I'm on it. Close. I think I did the level zero guards until level 10. Oh. Okay. All right. I'll go back to them then. Because, yeah, wow, these guys are out. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. This is dangerous. What happens if you die, Orca? What does the game do? Do you die in real life? <laughs> you just get sent back to the hospital? They don't, like, take... They don't take anything from you, or... Like, gold? No? Wow, so there's no bad things that happen if you die? <laughs> I died a lot, so I'm an expert. Right, Madrona? Like, that's what happens in Stardew. Oh, having to run back sucks. Oh my god, why am I... Why am I losing? Wait, how do I use a potion? Don't I have a potion? Oh, I won. Jeez, talk about close. Ooh, I got another... I got another weapon. Ooh, cool. Ooh, I have another weapon now. Ooh, what does it do? It's ice? 40% ice? Let's use it. Whoa, ice damage! <laughs> Get her! This is an easy game to play with, like, while streaming, though. Because I can talk to you guys really easily. What should we talk about, chat? Level me up to 10, darn it! This is a rock, paper, scissors part. Some enemies are weak to certain elements. Oh, how do we know if they are? And then later on, when you pick a class, you can pick an element. So I'm the plant. So I'm the plant guy, so I'm weak to ice. I'm the plant guy. What? Colorful leaves. <laughs> what? Ice guys are cryo nice. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, studded legs. Wait, are these better than what I have on? No, my purple ones are better. My purple ones are better. Hi, big bees. You're doing homework? What homework are you doing? I don't know if you, you put a kappa, so I don't know if you are serious. The lighting guy, lightning guys are the hammer mages. That sounds really cool, though. Level seven, almost there. I can't, I can't attack those guards. And I can't attack the people that are already being attacked. So what's the talk? Are there any fire people? What are you, Orca? No? Not at the moment. Oh, you're plant. I don't know what that means. What is, what is that? Oh, look. Ooh, nice. This is better. Ooh, yeah, that's better. Whack. <laughs> Open your armor tab. 
the green. Oh, this thing. Okay, okay. So right now there's only ice, green, uh, plant, and uh, I'm guessing this is lightning, the yellow. Why do they keep dropping legs? Stop that. Why did this guy have to fight right here? Well. <laughs> This would be a fun Switch game. I agree. Is this is this also on the Switch? Probably not. This is like a really nice game that you can go and relax and chill on. I wish I was on mobile. Ooh, yeah, that too. <gasps> a helmet! Wait, did I take it? Let's put it on. Nice. I'm getting equipment. A lot of people play it while they work. Yeah, it's like an easy game to have on the side. They said as much in chat. Like what chat? Oh, is there a chat I... Oh. Wait, what chat? <laughs> Oh, the room chat? Huh. But nobody's talking in this room right now, so... I can talk to the people. Hello, everyone. They're probably all focusing. Come here. <laughs> Come here often. <laughs> Can you like change channels if all of the guards are like taken? You can step out and back in. Oh, okay. These people are not very friendly. Don't worry, I'm a professional yapper. <laughs> What did you drop? Ooh, a long sword. Okay, level eight. Is this better? No, it's not. Leveling is fast until level 20. Okay, I definitely want to cook more because I want to do that that little thing that you were talking about. About how I go and I... I both the food that they want or whatever. And I also want to level up my potion making. I am getting hungry though. Cooking is your favorite so far? All I can do is make bacon sandwiches. I was gonna say bacon pancakes. <laughs> that sounds great right now. Bacon, bacon, pancakes. Yeah, I guess, I guess the ice thing. Do I do more damage? I don't think I do more damage with ice. There's so many people now. Oh, I have a lot of stuff I can sell. I want to get to level 10, though. Oh, wait. Maybe I can go attack those goblins now, now that I'm a little bit higher level and I'm more well-equipped. Do you think I can handle them? Yeah, go do that. Okay. These guys have no weaknesses. Oh, I wonder if the goblins do. Well, while I head towards the goblin, I'm gonna go past the uh, potion place and I'll go make more potions. I just am not sure how to use a potion. Like in battle. I haven't I haven't done that yet, so I don't know how to do that. 
Or maybe I just don't have... I thought I had a potion. Oh, I do. It's right here. Okay, here. Let me go... Let me go make some potions. Let me chop this stuff up. Oh my gosh, I have 12. <laughs> Jonah. They won't know what's coming. I love that video. Are you talking about, um, man, I haven't watched that show in so long. Adventure Time. Making bacon pancakes. That was a good show. I like that. Have you seen the bird one? Mm, no. What do you, what bird, bird one? What bird one? Look at me chopping all the ingredients. The parakeet who sings it, it's cute. Like a real bird sings it in real life. Yeah? Wait, that's cute. Okay, hold on. Let me prepare. Oh, look, I'm level two. Wait, I think I need to buy more bottles. Let's buy ten. There we go. There we go. Share with the class. Yeah, send it to me. Oh, you did. Oh my god! Hold on. Let me show y'all. You wanna do bacon pancakes? Oh. <laughs> okay. Bacon pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Bacon pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Bacon pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Look at his tap. Bacon pancakes, making bacon pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's cute! That's cute! Cute little bird. His little tippy taffy. I know! <laughs> he's like, ooh, I like this! <laughs> he's kind of... He's like a fluffy bird, too. So fluffy. Look at all the potions! I'll never die now! Wait, it's only 10%. Well, it's better than nothing. Can I use unlimited amount of potions while I fight, Orca? Why is this not leveling me up? I should be like level 5 alchemist making all of these. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, there we go. Level 3. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Fine. Okay, let's go back to... Yeah, we gotta go this way. We gotta go and fight the goblins! I used the 20% ones and they barely do anything. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Great. They fluff up when they're happy. Aww. You can have a max of 20 on you, but yeah, you can use as many as you want in combat. Okay. All right, wish me luck. I think we're good. I think I, I'm good. Yeah, attack. I don't know, attacks with fire. Wait, does that mean it's weak to ice? I don't know, we're trying it. Looks like I'm doing good. Oh, never mind. Mouse over their portrait. Immune to, vulnerable to, oh, they're vulnerable to lightning. But I don't have anything lightning. Ooh, a shield. Ooh, I'll take that. Ooh, level nine. Okay. I'm really happy that you don't, you don't have to heal after attacking and that multiples don't attack you. That's really nice. Oh, I think I was doing more with the spear. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, this is lightning. Wait, this is better. Or tempest or whatever. <gasps> Yay. 
So wait, yeah, they're weak to, they're vulnerable to the perfect. Goblins getting wrecked, yeah they are. Hi Alexis, how are you? Once I hit level 10, then I'll go steal the key back from the goblin thief. Are we good? Okay, let me turn this down. I feel like it's still a little loud. Would it be the sound effects? I think that's a little better. They're not dropping any items, darn it. What the heck? I found two cozy games coming out this month. Oh! Yes, show me! Nightstone looks cute from the image. Let's see. Night stones. You awaken Mythica, a cozy island where magical stones change day to night. Explore winding paths or venture. Make sure I have this up. <laughs> or venture into the wild with your trusty glider and sailboat. To return home, you you must befriend quirky townsfolk, discover hidden treasures, and master magic. Oh. Okay, we're good. Here, let me go up here and make sure I'm safe before I keep reading this. Um, hidden treasure, master magic, and face enemies in clever puzzle combat. So it comes out November 11th. Here, let's... Let's watch a trailer. You're hearing bright, brighter shorts music too, so... Wait, this looks cute. Aww. <laughs> Fun. The character customization looks <laughs> minimal, but but not bad. I don't know. I'll see. What is the what is the other one? Everholm. Why do I have this wish listed? I probably wish listed it a while ago when I saw. Um, when I saw it in some kind of mm, showcase, probably. Um, Lily was spirited away to a mysterious island as her memories fade. Everyone seems to know her and her quest for her missing sister. It's time to establish a homestead. Oh, that's why. Meet your friendly ever folks, then learn their secrets and solve the mystery of Everholm in an open-ended minimalist RPG. <gasps> Cute! Huh? Cute! Ooh! Oh, I love the graphic style. Ooh. Hold on, let's watch the... Ooh, kind of scary. Welcome to the domain. Ooh, this looks cute. It's like Polly Pocket. Is this online only or also offline single player? Are you talking about Brighter Shores? What the heck? This looks cute. Ah. Wait, when is this coming out? Oh, it's also November 11th. Wait, when is that? That's tomorrow! That's cute, Orca. I like it. Oh, wait. Here we go. 
I like it. I think, yeah, I might want to... Here, hold on. Let me... Let me see if... Hold on. Let me see if I can request a key for it early. Yeah, that's tomorrow. By the way, I do... I do have, um, I'm doing a sponsored stream later today for Mirthwood, which is also a game I really want to play that just came out. So that's perfect. Um, wait, what is it called? Ever? Oh no. Oh, so ah! loud. Oh, so loud. Oh yeah, for Brighter Shores? Is it online only or is there offline single player? Um... I think it's online only. I didn't see an option to turn it to single player only. I mean, you can make it so that you're not accepting friend requests and like, what did it say? You can go up here in the privacy settings. See, share character name with, and then you can like change it. Here, I'll keep this up real quick. Um, ever home. Wait, maybe I spelled that wrong. What is the, what is it called again? Where's the ever home no i did spell it right darn it okay they don't have like key options yet <sighs> all right let's go fight this guy darn you um let's do this attack the goblin thief we're level 10 how do i use potions orca do i just click on it Oh, quit. Oh, oops. I was supposed to equip it before. <laughs> oh, oops. Oh, no. Maybe we'll be okay. Looks like maybe. Yeah, okay, we did it. Ha ha! You retrieved Commander Hatchet's crate key. Yay, we did it. Okay, hold on. Before we do anything else. Okay, there we go. You can equip up to two different potions and can equip up to 20 doses of each. When in combat, only potions you equip beforehand will be available for use. Once combat starts, you can no longer. Yeah, well, dang, didn't know about that. <laughs> but that's okay. All right. Get that key back. I have it here. Hand it over then. Oh, here you go. Yippee! Wait, these swords haven't been tuned yet. Tuned? What does that mean? Have you seen the big obelisk near Branoff Boulevard yet? I did happen across that earlier, yes. Much of the armor and weaponry in the world of Endorthria has been a tu has been tuned at magic magic obelisk to be powerful within the vicinity of those obelisks. Thus, any armor or weapon which hasn't been been tuned to the local obelisk is comparatively very weak. These swords need to be tuned to be strong and hope for it. Take them to the obelisk. Okay, is it faster to teleport? Where is the obelisk again? I forgot. Oh, right there. I guess I'll just walk there. Does it, do, do you not like playing with other people, Master Sentai? Is that why you ask? Because it seems like I don't really interact with people. But apparently Orca said that like eventually what is the thing that you said about the two-handed axe or whatever, Orca? Like you need help with people eventually by like leveling up skills or something? I don't know, or maybe it's not necessary. Wait, oh wait, I need to go back, it's this way. Um, oh. And then here. Alright. Yay, we found it. Use item. Well, I have so many. Let's. That's not gonna work at the moment. That thing's bust. I need to use Obelisk for Commander Hackett. It's gonna be kinda hard when it's broke. Could I help fix it? I could go. I could do with some help, thanks. This Obelisk got highly damaged during the Goblin attack. 
Notice the down spike is missing there. The goblins probably knocked it off, but who knows where it is now. We're by a fast flowing river, so we have a good guess where it went. Somewhere downstream, I'll see what I could do. Oh, okay. Downstream. Okay, so I guess I just have to follow the water. Um, I guess I keep following the water. <laughs> um. Maybe over here? Oh boy. Um. This is kind of scary. <laughs> I'm gonna go back. <laughs> What about over here? What is this? I haven't actually been in here. What is this? Ooh, Enchantress Shop. Ooh, a cat. The game looks interesting. I had a similar one on my cell phone a while ago, but I installed it. Does RuneScape... Is RuneScape an option on the mobile? Is that the game? <laughs> it took me like an hour to find this darn thing. Really? Welcome to my shop. Would you like to enchant your equipment? Oh, what is enchanting? How much does it cost? I enchant equipment, attuning it to its owner. A person using their enchanted equipment will more quickly become skilled at using it. It is only a slight XP boost, but it doesn't wear off, so over enough time it will add up to a substantial XP gain. Unfortunately, it's also a rather expensive process, as the regions I need for enchantments are expensive, expensive for me to acquire. Finally, I refuse to enchant weapons and armor. I will only enchant equipment which is used for peaceful purposes. So would you like me to enchant? What if I replace my equipment? I don't want to waste money enchanting equipment, which I might later replace. Not to worry, the enchantment will be tuned to the owner such that if the equipment is replaced, it will simply transfer to your new equipment at no extra cost. So there's no reason to wait. Can I tempt you in purchasing? Sure. My fishing spear. 55 silver? Wait, how much silver do I have? I have 12. Oh my god, it's so expensive. <laughs> Fishing is considered peaceful. What about the fish? Okay, wait. I went back in a circle. Wait, where's the water? Oh, no. Don't attack me, please. Ow. Maybe this guard knows? <laughs> hmm. Hmm, maybe I need to go back to the alley because that seemed like that was the only way. Maybe. Follow the water. There was nothing in here, was there? No. All right, let's go back to the alleyway. Maybe I have to go past the thieves. <laughs> These guys are fighting these thieves. Oh, oh, what's this? Rotten tree stump. Oh. Street louse. Wonderful. Is there anything over here? No, this is locked. Okay. What is this text verification for? 
What do you, what text verification? I don't see what you're seeing. What's in here? Door is boarded up. Okay. Well, let's go this way then. Oh. Oh, it's a puffer fish. Oh, here's here's the water though. Is this the same water? Is this downhill? I lost I lost track of I lost track of where I've been. <laughs> uh oh, okay. We've been there. Okay, hold on, let me keep looking. I'm sure it's like obvious. It's just something in the water I have to find. Which I'm forgetting what I have to find. Hold on. Um, downstream. Hmm. I mean, it could have, like, turned. I don't really know. Whoa, these guys are level 66. These are thugs. I don't think I should be here. <laughs> I just learned that if you beat all three DQHD games in chronological order, which is 312, there will be a surprise. Just a tease. Wait, really? That's cool. Oh, oh yeah, since. Oh, fair enough. Ooh, I have been forgetting to do that. Wait, where was the water that I was at? Where was the water? Oh god, not this. Um... Oh! Ha ha! Wait, what level of fishing am I? Can I fish these guys? Oh, I'm level one. <gasps> we found it! Okay. Wait, we'll go this way. <gasps> Thanks, Orca! I forgot I had since. Yay! <sighs> Thanks, Alexis. Okay. Alright, let's head back to the obelisk. Oops. I just passed it. Nope, I didn't. I keep forgetting you have to go around. We made it! I found the missing site! Great! Try putting back on. Okay, use item this. Wow, it actually shows you fixing it. <laughs> Okay, that doesn't seem to fit. Let me have a go. Hydration is important. This is true. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't fit. I think that these plums of ice magic might be holding this other spikes on. Uh, what? I'm a bit stumped at the moment, but Captain DeGreen did give me this tablet which shows how to fix it. Take a look. I can't make head or tail of it. Okay. It has some sigils you don't understand on it. What does Nina expect me to do with this? What do you make of the tablet? <laughs> it makes no sense to me at all. Or to me. I don't recognize these symbols at all. Maybe Nabeth will know? That's a good idea. Nabeth is an old philosopher. Oh, okay. Oh, I know where Nabeth is. Perfect. Let's go to Nabeth. Oh man, it's all the way down here. Dun, 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 dun. I was wondering when Nabeth was going to come in handy. This is a cute game. I like the sassy commentary too. <laughs> it is a little on the slower side, but that's okay. 
It is really, it seems like a really nice casual game. Comfy game. Uh, hello, I assume you're a figment of my imagination. Right. I'm told you can help me interpret this tablet. Oh, this is interesting. This looks to be ancient Kryn. In fact, I have some stones with these exact symbols. I rescued them one time when Captain DeGreen was having an a when ha was having a clear out. Here you go. Maybe they'll be of some use for fixing the obelisk. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go back now. Yeah, very slow. I mean, it's expected because the creator is the creator of RuneScape, and RuneScape was slow, right? <clears throat> all I know is that I made a cake on RuneScape, and it took all freaking day. So, that's literally my knowledge. <laughs> the extent of my knowledge. Classic was, yeah. Oh, but... Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. Maybe I need to talk to this person now. Have you figured out anything? Naveth gave me these tiles, which match the symbols on the tablet. I haven't figured out what to do with them yet. I don't know. Why don't we use it? I don't know what to do. <laughs> what? It's a puzzle? Oh, we probably have to put these, but which order? Okay, hold on. Oh, I see, I get it. <laughs> So it was this one. There's puzzles in this game. This is cute. Okay, two is this one. Okay. Um, hold on. Let me see what's the next. What's the top left? Okay. This one. Cute. Realistic, it takes me all day to bake a cake, too. Yeah, fair enough. You have to bake it, it's in, it's, especially if you're doing, like, all the ingredients. Takes a while, and then you have to wait for it to cool before you can ice it. And if you're doing really fancy stuff, then that takes even longer. Wow, an actual cryo night! So, I have been summoned somewhere that doesn't normally happen. It must be a dire emergency for me to have been called forth thusly. What? Oh, I guess I need to talk to this person? Well, why is it... Oh, there we go. Why have I been summoned? What dire emergency have I been brought forth to deal with? The obelisk is broken. Wait, I've been summoned for mere tech support? <laughs> um, I guess. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? I think the problem might be this broken spike. It won't join back on. Ah, I see what's happened. The cryo jet isn't working. That's a simple fix. <laughs> Have you tried turning it off and back on again? What the? Why isn't my magic working? Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> what? Don't be silly. My magic doesn't have an off switch. Maybe our magic suppressor is blocking you? Magic suppressor? Neat. I've not seen one of them in a while. That would explain it, certainly. I'll need to be unblocked if I'm to fix your obelisk. I'll go and talk to Anjay. Uh, where's Anjay? Anjay? Is Anjay... Where's Anjay? I'm gonna assume it's at Holeport. Let me teleport. <laughs> As someone who works tech support, turning it off and on again is the first solution, and it works most times. That's funny. 
I wonder why that is. Why why is that the cure the cure all? Oh here's NJ. Andre, I sense that you wish to talk to me. Um, we need you to grant magic access to a cryo knight. A cryo knight, really? No one has seen a cryo knight in years. I didn't even know if they still existed. There's one trying to help us fix the Hopeport Obelisk at the moment. Okay, this is this. I have to see. I'll see you there. Okay. We all need a little reset, even the robots. <laughs> okay. All right. Head in to the obelisk. Yep, us going to sleep is just turning off and on again. That's true. I do feel really a lot better with things once I'm well rested. Wow, you were right! An actual cryo knight! You're an actual magic suppressor, sir. That's pretty unusual, too. This is all very nice, but are we going to f get on with fixing the obelisk? We can't know this person. They disappeared. Are we sure it's safe to just grant magic access? It'll be fine. Cryo knights are famously honorable. Uh-oh. Your aura is strong and somehow familiar. Familiar? Hard to explain. Anyway, you are free to do magic and hope port. Wow, is it fixed now? That should do the trick. Try the spike now. <laughs> Yay, we fixed an obelisk. I'm gonna, I'm hungry too. I think I'm gonna, after I finish this quest, I'm gonna go take a break. And he have some lunch. It's fixed. Kylie, you said you had some swords to tune. Let's see if it works. Okay, here, let's tune this one. Ooh, perfect. Now, uh, well, with all seems to be working, it'll, I'll be off now. I guess the fun is over. Oh, goodbye. I'm gonna keep tuning. Nice. Is this better than what I had? No, I guess blue is better than teal. Okay. And these swords. Oh, this is better. However, kind of not better. Wait, I thought I could have three equipment pieces. Oh, I guess it has to be a ranged weapon. Okay. Whatever. All right. So we're going to play um, Brighter Shores. It's a little bit longer today um, until 2 p.m. Because 2 p.m. we're going to switch and play another game that came out called Mirthwood. But that's not that, that's not until 2 p.m. So we still have some time. And that's like my sponsored stream. So it's sponsored. But also um, I really wanted to play this anyways. So. So you prefer never to eat on camera? Um, not like big meals. I feel like it's really important for like no matter what kind of thing you do, like even if it's a hobby, like not necessarily a job, is to like actually get up, stretch, walk around, and like kind of reset. I feel like that's important with anything that you do. Um, so yeah, I could sit here and eat on camera and... I wouldn't say I'm totally against it. I feel like um, my history of streaming on Twitch has just shown me like the worst that, this is the worst in people and people are really creepy online. Um, like for example, I don't even stand up usually ever because people always clip me standing up and it's the most creepiest activity and just they think that I don't see it. Of course I do. It's just like little things like that have built up over the 11 years I've been streaming. So things like eating on stream, standing up on stream, I don't do. Um, just because I've just had really bad experience. But usually I'm fine with that. Like majority of you guys aren't like that. It's just like the creepy people in the shadows that are like, hey, let me clip her when she stands, stands up. Like what? I wear shorts <laughs> or pants like what the heck it's 
squirrel thank you for the 34 months but anyways i think it's also really like good for my mental health to just take a break for 30 minutes to just like go outside like earlier today i was just sitting on my rocking or earlier today just now i was sitting on my rocking chair eating some apples cut apples so thanks lulu i know i'm really excited about the fact i've gotten so many sponsored streams it's really nice it's so it's so nice we had one on thursday with a group of girls and they were so friendly and it was really fun and then this is already a game i'm gonna play so like what the heck what time is it now yes what leslie said it's what well it's 119 right now it's good to step away people are stinky yeah they can be but like some of the things like I cha like I don't do like they don't affect you guys anyways like the normal people that don't even think about that stuff it doesn't affect y'all so it's all good you know I have a lot of equipment that I do not need I wonder if I should sell it all because like I don't need this but I need money so let's see maybe I should go and sell some of my equipment but who do I sell it to I'm thinking I sell it to the quartermaster. So let's go up to the quartermaster and see. Um. <sighs> do, 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 do. The Thursday stream was great. I was mostly lurking, but loved it. Yeah, I'm so happy you guys came out for that. Also, it was kind of nice because Thursday was like a really big day since I could tell you guys about the fact that I had a... Um, interview the next day otherwise y'all would have not heard it until now which is fine too okay let's just sell maybe all of it let's just sell all of the teal because i don't know what else you would do with this stuff do i need this i might keep one are they the same thing oh yeah i think they are okay there we go. Yeah. I probably don't need to keep that sword, but we're just going to keep it just in case. Um, all right. We finished. Oh, no, we did it. We have to. Uh, we need to go to uh, Commander Hackett. Okay, so we need to go turn in the quest, basically. So let's go. Let's go. Was. That the sword for the quest, the one that you got from the commander, you get two of the same swords from him. Yes. Was I not supposed to sell it? <laughs> Please tell me I was okay to sell it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, you need to take it back to him? Oh, no. What do I do? Can I go buy it again? Oh my god, oops. Okay, oops, my <laughs> selling stuff that don't even belong to me. Okay, hold on, let me go back to the quartermaster and see if I can buy it back. Whoopsies. Um, sir, I take it back. Can you there oh, okay, there we go. Alright, we're good. Saved. Oh, thankfully that's like an option. <laughs> wow, thank God, because that would have sucked. Actually, I don't know. There's, there's pro they do QA in this game, right? You have to have QA testers. Quality assurance. QA test. Are they called QA testers? I think they are. So, like, what if somebody like me was dumb and did that? <laughs> no backseats. Thankfully, there are. Okay, let's go. Let's go turn. No, I don't want to go that way. I want to go, like, this way there. Excuse me, coming through. I don't know if I have to cast immunity. I probably could have just kept walking. I like the cast immunity thing, though. That's nice. All right, sir. I tuned those swords. It was more of a hassle than you might expect because the obelisk was broken. Brilliant. Well, tell you what, if you've gone to all that trouble, I'll let you keep one of the swords. Okay, that's why he gave you two. Look it! Wow! I'm... Whoa! Holy cow, that gave so much experience! 
Gosh dang. I'm a level 14 guard. New foe unlocked. Rookie sparring guard. New foe unlocked. Scruffy thief. Well, cool. Holy cow, that gave me so much leveling. Oh, quality control. QC. Okay. QA is approval of systems based on the results from QC. <laughs> Got it. So, like, they're the step above. <gasps> Super Way, how are you? Thank you have 125 months. Go try the beady eye crow. The beady eye crow. The beady eye crow. The death crow? What is a beady eye crow, Orca? Is that a monster? Oh, I haven't unlocked this area yet. Maybe it, that's that. Those green crows down there. The Oh, these? Oh. Okay, hold on. Let me uh Let me let me go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm level 14 now. Just keep walking. Keep walking. <laughs> Look how I walk. <laughs> I'm like a crab. <laughs> oh, I have to cast Munity to leave. That's kind of annoying. But okay. Alright, BDI Crow. Wait, am I. Can I even fight these? Past action. Oh, they're vulnerable to ice. Perfect. Are you sure I can do this, Orca? Wait, you still get attacked when you take a potion. They killed me a lot. What? Why'd you let me do this then? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I did it. Oh my god, talk about cutting it so close. <laughs> I'm level 15. Oh, I can do bow training now. Holy cow, 1 HP and a drink. Was I really at 1 HP? Jeez. Okay, talk to Robin in the training grounds. Okay, let's go do that. I need to go learn how to use a bow. I took archery classes. Or lessons, well, and classes, um, about a year or so ago. It was very fun. I enjoyed it. However, it's a very expensive hobby. <laughs> Pretty expensive. But fun. Uh, please, can you show me how to use a bow? Okay, this bow is standard issue for new recruits. Please look after it. Now, listen carefully, as this is very important. Whenever you want to attack a hostile, start off about five paces away and initiate your attack with a ranged weapon such as a bow. Only switch to a melee weapon such as sword once they get close, or you can run out of ammo. This way, you can often get a few shots in before your foe fights back, which can be make a big difference in combat. Okay, got it. Attack from five paces away, choose bow for first attack, switch to melee once they're close. You'll get three or four ammo to use each fight, depending on the rarity of your ranged weapon. Don't worry about saving ammo, as you'll always get it back for your next fight. But you can only use three to four. Interesting. Okay, let's equip it. Um, can I, like, practice? No? Okay. Is that it? <laughs> Go get my total hope port level to 60. What? What a... <laughs> What a big jump! What a big jump! What the heck? Okay, now that you got to level 10. All right, 60. Okay, I want to go level up cooking. Let's go level up cooking. I want to do that that thing that Orko was talking about. The little mini game or whatever. Hi, Chrono. How are you? I think the only thing I can make right now is bacon sandwiches. So how about we buy five bread, five bacon... And then let's go cook it. Let's just go cook a lot of it. Maybe. You should be like halfway to it. Wait, what level am I? I'm 21. That's almost halfway. <laughs> almost. Bacon cheeseburger. No, not quite. There's no meat, just the bacon. 
Well, I guess that's meat, but you know what I mean. No hamburger meat. Just bacon. <laughs> just a bacon sandwich. Just like the BLT without the L and the T. Just the B. <laughs> Still scrumptious, you know? Alright, let's put this together. Bacon sandwiches. Making bacon sandwiches. Oh, it doesn't fl fly off the tongue as well as pancake, but I like it. Making bacon sandwiches. <laughs> Is this gonna level me? Oh, it did! Let's see what else I can make. At least I think that leveled me. Or maybe I was already level one. Oh. No, I wasn't! Oh, darn it. I have to get to level two. Is there really nothing else I can make? Darn. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, I don't know how much I need to buy, but let's go buy. Thank goodness I have money. You get new stuff every two levels. Okay. It, when I can start making stuff with fish. Oh, we're going to be golden here. I'll just go back to doing five. Hopefully that's enough. It might not be, but it's okay. What level did you say that we get that thing that the thing that you were talking about with being a chef, Orca? Nine? Hmm. Nine. That's kind of high, but okay. I'll work on it. What is y'all's favorite meal lately? I would say anything that has a lemon in it or lemon flavor in it lately is my favorite. So I had like salmon with like lemon juice on it. Oh my God. It tastes so good. And then I also had, um, I was telling you that ramen, the ramen I had, the yuzu citrusy ramen, freaking the best. I want to go get that again because that was the best freaking meal I've had in a long time. Potatoes? <laughs> what kind of potatoes? Like french fries, whole potatoes, stuffed potatoes, sweet potatoes. Verde Pozzo. What is that? Yeah, Lulu. It, I've never had yuzu before. And like I had it in ramen. It was... I can't tell you. Like I literally... I don't want to say I cried. But I literally got emotional because of how like much I like food. Because I feel like I... Every time I always eat... Oops. I don't ever like finish my meal. Yeah, I'll just make five again. I always just like half finish it and then usually Tom finishes the rest for me. But that, that was like the first meal in like, I want to say years that I actually finished to full. So like goes to show you how much I liked it. <gasps> acai bowls. Yeah. I haven't had an acai bowl in a while. I don't know where to find them to be honest. Wait, actually I think Costco sells them. <laughs> Chopping them up and oh cooking in a skillet. Mm, what seasonings do you use? Might as well talk about food since we're cooking <gasps> Yuzu marmalade Wait, how do we just buy? Yuzu yuzu is like the name of the citrus fruit, right? Oh, how did you you mean marmalade? <laughs> I want some Yuzu is so good my all-time favorite thing to eat that I'll always order if I see it on a menu is fried calamari. Huh. Oh, look at I'm level two. I can make jellied eels. Ew. <laughs> what? Ew. What is that? Ew. Look at the picture. <laughs> Ew. What do I do? Boil eel. Oh, I need an eel. Oh, okay, okay. But to fish an eel, I have to be level... I have to be level two fishing. Okay, so let's go level up fishing. Okay. Oh, wait. Actually, hold on. I can sell... Hold on. Where's the head chef? Here we go. I can sell all of my sandwiches. Perfect. I made money back. Ha ha! All right. Let's go make some jellied eels. I've been craving comfort food lately, so that's what I've been cooking. Ooh, what kind of comfort food? Like, like, um, home-cooked, um, chicken noodle soup. I made that recently, and it was the best chicken noodle soup ever. And it's, like, from scratch. Well, not really scratch, but I also use, like, 
um, high protein pasta, like bonza pasta. It's like pasta that's made with chickpeas. It's okay. It's good, but it's it's okay. It's okay. I wasn't like cra a crazy fan of it. Um, I forgot where to go fishing. I think I have to go to the flounder. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the flounder. Pozole is a Mexican soup with meat and um, meat and hominy, and it usually comes in verde green broth, chicken, or roja. Ooh, yum! What is hominy? Sorry, XPS. <laughs> that sounds so gross with the chickpea pasta. No, it's actually really good and it's healthy. But uh, yeah, maybe some people wouldn't like it. It does have like a very distinct flavor, I would say, but it's not bad. And it has like some protein in it. I've been cooking a lot of Filipino food lately. A lot of stuff I grew up eating. Been feeling like I need to reconnect with my culture. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's catch the fish. I use Banza, it's not bad. Definitely better than some other brands, yeah. I've tried some other chickpea pastas and I was like, eh. It had, it had like a, um, aftertaste. <laughs> Slather with pasta sauce and you'll never know. Yeah, 100% with pasta sauce, you wouldn't know. My chicken noodle soup I made, I could kind of tell, but it was still so good. It was good. All right, is this going to level me to level two? I think I need to fish some more, so maybe I need to leave and then come back. Here, I'm gonna forge this um, kelp before I leave. What kind of what kind of uh, Filipino food do you make, Superway, or have been make making? I don't know if I've had Filipino food. Let's go. Oh, <gasps> I'm a level three forger. Oh yeah, I forgot I could do. Level two foraging. Eh. I'll wait. Um, how long do I have to wait? Oh, look, here we go. I guess you just leave the map and come back, and then the fish are back. You've always wanted to try Filipino food? Look at all the people fishing. I've, uh, my great grandma was from there. Really? Oh. What was that sound? Was that somebody teleporting? Come on, level me. Oh, wait, I am leveled. I'm level two. Okay, let's go get some eels now. Let's go make some candied, or what was it? Kel candied eel? No, jellied eel. <laughs> Ew. All right, let's go to make some jelly eel. Okay, let's find where the eel are. They're here, okay. They're in the center. I like this, you can just focus, you can just focus on skills if you just wanna focus on skills. I have some side quests I could do. I'm gonna be honest, it's a little confusing, but it's probably just cause I don't have all the stuff unlocked. Okay, here are the eels. Let's catch some eels, shall we? It's kind of brutal. <laughs> I don't think candy eel would be better, really. Yeah, me either. It sounds really disgusting. Okay, let's go on the other side. Oh, I'm level three. Wow, that was fast. Style, Filipino style barbecue and veggies. Ooh, what's that? Sine gang? Sine gang? I'm, pro I'm sorry, I'm saying that wrong. This is great. I'm making my grocery list for the week and y'all are giving me ideas. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, I don't have enough backpack space. Wait, what? Oh. Right, I have... Oh, okay, hold on. Let's go fish. Let's go sell... My fish. There. Alright, now I have space. Hehe, <laughs> Sinigong. 
Oh, I do know that. Synagogue, synagogue. I don't think I've ever had that before. Or wait, synagogue, is that, wait, hold on. You said synagogue, especially. Is that like a, lo a specific area? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I feel like that's an area, not a food. <laughs> Sorry, we're talking about food, so I'm getting confused. Oh, <gasps> puffer fish! Okay, whatever. It's okay. Let's go make. Oh, wait, here. Let's fish these out and then let's go make jellied eel. Mm. Right, write this down, Lulu. Jellied eel. Perfect, perfect um, Monday evening dinner. Um, okay, let's go to the. Let's go cook now. I googled jellied eel and I'm disgusted. Wait, why would you google it? Is it a real food? Hmm, interesting. It probably tastes better than it looks. Okay, so how do I do this? To make jellied eel, I need to boil the eel in a boiling pot with some gelatin. And then I have to chill the jellied eel in an ice box. Okay. Oh, I don't have gelatin. Oh. Hmm. How do we... How do we get gelatin? Wobbly animal product. From four jellied eels. Oh, Kevin. Kevin. All right, Kevin. How many eels do I have? One... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I have eleven eels. So I need eleven gelatin. There's no way it tastes better than it looks. <laughs> really? Here it is. So I need eleven. Five, six. I can only buy six. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's no way I'd taste it to find out. <laughs> I'm making a chicken cacciatore stew, but with potatoes on Monday for my crock pot dinner. I do crock pot dinners um, on Mondays because it's just the easiest. It's easiest for me because I have to work and then after work I stream. So crock pot Mondays are like my saving grace. Oh, I don't know if I want to click on that. I mean, you said it looks really bad, right? Oh, there's several different kinds. It's a stew with different proteins and veggies. Ooh, that sounds good. I dare you. Oh no, oh no. Oh, y'all don't see it, thank God. Ew! Ew, why is it so big? Oh no. Hmm, well. I mean, don't, don't judge a book by its cover. Right? Where's the ice box? Oh, here. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> Interesting. Just think of it, it's just like jello. It's like sea seafood jello. Mmm. Mmm. Wait, really, Orca? Cool video on jelly deal. Or some are y'all talking about something else? <laughs> I'm level three, but we have to be level four to make an omelet. Ooh, omelet. Okay, we need to go buy some more gelatin. Why could I only buy six? Oh, maybe. Oh, it's because I don't have enough inventory. Silly me. Okay, let's sell it. Wow, I'm already at. Oh, I'm already at twenty silver. Ooh. Don't I need to have like 20 silver to like buy a cape or something or what was that? What was the 20 silver I needed? It was for some buying something. Um, how many eels do I have? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So let's just buy five. I like how you can select exactly how many like with the quantity number. Let's save some time. Ooh, I don't mean to talk to him. That, this is how eels should be prepared. The link isn't working. Darn it. 
on the oldest fast food place in London and it serves eels, jellied eels. Oh. Hmm. I'm allergic to seafood. <laughs> I'm absolved. Can I say that too? The one thing I'm looking forward to, this is like such a really silly thing. I mean, obviously if I get a job, I'm looking forward to the job, but I'm also looking forward to the benefits like health insurance, which would be great. Cause I really want to go to an allergist and decide officially is it, if it's just shrimp, if I'm, if I'm just allergic to shrimp or if it's others, <gasps> I can make an omelet now. Cause I'd really like to know. And, uh, it's expensive now with my current health insurance. To be fair, I don't know if it's still gonna be as expensive. Ew, Orca. No, that screen grab, or the thumbnail. <laughs> it looks like sushi though, not gonna lie. It looks like some sushi. Okay, omelet. Let's figure out how to make an omelet. Omelet, here we go. I need an egg. I can buy eggs from Kevin. All right, Kevin. Where's the head chef? He keeps moving. Let's sell that. All right, let's go make, let's go make an omelet. Oh, see that, that does look good. F oh, see that's, that's tasty. That's tasty. Well, I haven't been to the image imager website in a long time i participated in a secret santa a long time ago for imager and um uh i gave i gave a really nice gift and what's so funny is that the guy um he found my stream because i think i put it in a thing um just so he could like say you know if he wanted to say thank you obviously i was not expecting it um but he did come and he said thank you. It was really nice. And then the person who got me a gift, I still use this cute, it's like a cute little kitty, kitty bowl. I use it for eating rice. <laughs> it was really nice. I wonder if they still do that stuff. Cause I like that. Though it's, it's, it's a complete gamble. Um, okay, I got an egg. What do I do with the egg? Frying pan, I'm guessing. Yeah, frying pan. Wow, this is the easiest one. Always the best way to get to nine since it's just eggs and nothing else. Yeah, this is great. Look, I'm already level five. <laughs> so the goal here is to get to level nine so I can do this thing that work is talking about. <laughs> DSS, maybe bacon makes things taste really good, but I don't know about eel. Can you not buy a kit to... to try out being a I could, but I feel like I'd rather just go to a professional and get it done professionally in case, well, just in case. <laughs> Cause I have a really bad reaction to a shrimp now. So I'd rather just do it with like a professional. All right. Oh, sausage and mash is the next one. Okay, let's go buy, let's go buy like 20 more eggs. Cause that was like really fast. Smoked eel is kind of like bacon. Is it? I don't know if I've ever eaten. Well, no, I've had I've had eel. Okay, I can only buy seven eggs because I forgot I have to go sell these omelets. If one day I decided to quit my job and become a chef, would you guys come to my restaurant? I think my main concern would make sure nothing burns down. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Maybe that's fair. <laughs> I promise I cook really well. Do I get a discount? Um, maybe for the first day, <laughs> but not for the rest. <laughs> Wait, does this mean you're also kind of allergic? I don't know, Superway. The problem is I've only I've only tested it out. I don't want to say tested it out. Um I only have 
eaten shrimp to know I'm a, I'm having an allergic I had an allergic reaction so I don't know if it's all shellfish or if it's just shrimp I haven't bothered trying um, for good reason okay Kevin sells potato he also sells these too hmm should I still do the omelet orca or should I do the other one I kind of want to like at least make you know what let me go get let me let me go spin or let me go use this um uh what is kelp to make potions real quick just so that I can get that out of my backpack and have more space just like right across what kind of restaurant hmm what kind of restaurant it would be a very low-key restaurant not if you're making jellied eel. I would not be making that. Can I be a chef? Sure, you're hired. I don't care if you cook, but I'm not coming. I can make an omelet at home, and I ain't paying you. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you okay there? <laughs> so negative. Uh, let's see. I need three bottles. One, two, three. 10 minute warning. Oh my gosh, it's already. Oh, thank God for you, Boiler. Wow, 10 minutes came by like really, or er, two o'clock came by really fast. Wow. Someone suddenly went with the big opinion. I mean, it's only hypothetical and I'm being, if I'm being serious, no. But like, dang. <laughs> Crazy. My allergy definitely includes crawfish in my parents care. No, my mother, I, the ICU nurse handed me gloves and told me you can still peel them. <gasps> what the heck? That's so savage. What? Did you have an allergic reaction from peeling them? Oh my God. Why did they need you to peel them? That's so mean. <laughs> what the heck? Oh wait, no, 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 wait. I need to go buy sausage and potatoes to make bangers and mash or i think they call it sausage but all right let's buy five sausage oh yeah you know what it is better with the egg because you yeah you're right but i want to i want to make it anyways i'm the fastest non-seafood eating crawfish peeler around you need to add that to your resume lulu <laughs> all right what do we have to do boil prepare and fry wow so much work okay boil boil prepare and then fry hi roway how are you you're like the vegans on master chef who have to do meat challenges Oh, do they force them to do that? That seems kind of uh, unnecessary. <laughs> Maybe not. Whoa, look at them. He's just, he's just pounding the potatoes. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. Or that's, that's me. What am I talking about? That's me. I'm doing that. Okay, okay, wait. Then what? Then fry them, right? Yeah. Okay. Bangers and mash. Mmm. Yeah, I literally mashed them. Oh, you've been playing this game too? I just started and I'm still learning. Um, I like it though. It's a very, very calm game. It's definitely good to do other things with. Like talking to chat. Um... Oh, wait, what? Did I not buy enough buy enough ingredients? Oh, maybe I have to do more. Oh, I didn't have space, that's why. Lavish! Hi! Thank you for 125 months! How are you? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Now I do it. Okay, okay. There we go. 
You like my chef's helmet? <laughs> Thanks. I wonder if I can get like a chef outfit in this game. I'm sure you can. Yay, we made bangers and mash. Okay, what is, um, what level am I? Did I get to 10? I wasn't paying, oh, I'm six. Okay, you know what? Let's just go and make a ton of omelets. <laughs> Cause that's so fast. <laughs> Let's go make a ton of omelets. Yeah, this is like such a chill, nice game. I honestly wish I had a Steam Deck. But I'm playing, I'm playing Stardew Valley as my game of choice right now. <sighs> Wait, did I buy too many eggs? Oh my god, they each take one slot. Oops. <laughs> oh well. I want to get to level nine. <sighs> Come on, level ten. Well, maybe, hold on, after the sausages and mashed potatoes. How much is this? Oh, it's, oh, wait, this is not bad. It just takes the spot. I should have just filled up the whole, my whole inventory. Um, Orca, do we have a bank in this game? I can go and store some of, some stuff like this. I don't, I don't know. I, I got cabbage a long time ago and I've just hold on to it, held on to it because I don't know what to do with it. I haven't paid attention if I'm um, making money by selling these omelets or if I'm just breaking even. Yay. <gasps> I can make... Nope, not yet. A stew. Vegetable stew is next. So this sells for 336. Okay, let's see how much eggs cost. As long as it's lower than 336. Whoa, so many people. Kevin, how many, how, how, how expensive have been your eggs? Oh, 240. Yeah, see, not bad. All right, full. If you click the info on the item, it tells you what's needed for. If it's needed for cooking, it goes in the kitchen storage. Uh, a cabbage stall? Wait, a cabbage stall? Is it like Avatar? Legend of Avatar? Avatar, Legend of Avatar, Avatar The Last Airbender? <laughs> Not my cabbages! Um, I don't know. It seems like it's only good for selling, maybe? Thank you, Ian. You know, I should probably just get ready for my sponsored stream, shouldn't I? We'll have to, I'll have to come back and revisit my chef experience. Can I cancel? Okay, good. All right, we will close out. This was a fun game. I enjoyed this. This is really cute.